All right, we are live for Canada versus Czechia. The game will be starting in 30 minutes. I wanted to start a little bit early to preview this entire game, go through all the aspects and everything, and also uh, talk about the craziness that we saw with the US and Sweden earlier. Um, I had the misfortunes of being a USA hockey fan watching that game, which was uh, absolutely horrible, but uh, let us know in the chat down below if you guys are just coming in. We're going to be here for Canada versus Czechia starting in 40 minutes time. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But say hello, drop a like, and let's get this stream started, shall we? Oh my goodness. I, I, I was planning I was planning on going on a huge rant on this stream because I thought that Sweden was going to win today versus the US. And uh, if that happened, I think I would have died just immediately in this live stream, but uh, I'm glad that that did not happen. I'm glad that that did not happen. <laughs> but the US or the uh, Canada versus Czechia game will be starting in 30 minutes time for the gold medal. Let me know early in the chat, who do you guys see winning the gold medal this time around? Czechia did beat Canada in the first game of the preliminaries. So let us know, do the Czechs get it done again or will Canada get some revenge and win the gold medal? Actually, let's get a one in the chat for Canada and the two in the chat for Shekia. What do you guys see happening tonight? Let us know your early predictions. Who do we got here first? We got uh, Gro, we got Gama, we got Dominic, Bryson, Ali, Jasper, Go, Raymond, Bot. Um, we got Zach, <laughs> baseball kid, Zach Hamble of the minor league, Brandon, EJ, Ivan, Liam, Shelia, Emilio, uh, Owen. We got everybody in here. Good to have you guys all dropping by. Hit that like button early. Yesterday's stream was absolutely nuts. Apparently, I got like 90k views. You guys are insane. Thank you so much for the support during the World Juniors. It's been fantastic. And uh, let's just try to make this stream as fun as possible. It's great to have you guys all back. Yo, grab Bedard and Suzuki. Coffee will be lit, don't you think? Oh, absolutely, Emilio. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Let's see. Matt, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat. Hockey Junkie, what's going on? Congrats on bronze, even though everyone forgot to... It was so brutal, man. I, I was watching that game and just being in absolute awe of what was happening in front of me. So if you guys don't know, uh, the US won against Sweden in overtime for the bronze medal. Eight to seven. And I, yesterday on Twitter, after the uh, USA-Canada game, I went on a whole rant saying how I thought this team was just too fancy and the defense was just absolutely atrocious in my eyes and we deserved to win that, lose that game like I said in yesterday's stream. Tons of people lit me up for it. But literally the only reason the US won this game versus Sweden is because uh, of the guy of the forwards showing up the, the the defense was absolutely brutal and unfortunately the goaltending this time around was just bad Trey Augustine was just <sighs> I don't even know where, where to begin and Mebenko wasn't either it wasn't very good either so it was it was not a good mix but Man, even though offensively you love guys like Lane Hudson and 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 Luke Hughes and Sean Barron's man, that was uh, a disaster. They they blew three different leads in that game. Another couple of a multi goal leads. So not only did yesterday they blow a two zero lead against Canada, they blew another couple multi goal leads in this one, and another just normal lead, a one goal lead in that one, and. It was just insane. They they scored with like 38 seconds to go. It was, I think it was McGrody or whatever. They scored with 38 seconds to go. And then with like 20 left, it was just like the worst balance ever. It goes right to Philip Bistet, right in front of the net. And it's 7-7. And there was a few good chances for both teams in overtime. But I am so... I, honestly, the entire USA Hockey organization is so thankful that that was still a win in the end because it was absolutely nuts. Hockey Arcade, what's going on? Um, I joined and grab a staring at my soul. <laughs> Good to see you, Bison. Good to see you, Bison. Let this sink into the USA in two games has let in 13 goals. Yeah, I. this team is so lucky. So lucky that they got a bronze medal, man. It's astounding to me. And I will say this. I will say this. In a normal tournament, I don't think they get that bronze medal because I think Russia probably kills them. 
Russia, I think, would have been really, really underrated this year. Especially with some of the draft eligibles they got. Obviously, Mishkov would have been one. But on the defense with Simashev and Guliaev, they would have had some really underrated options. They wouldn't have been perfect. I don't think their goaltending is gonna be would be a, amazing or anything. But they would have had quite a few good options on both forward and defense, which you don't usually... You aren't able to usually say for them. So I, I think there was a chance that if Russia was in this tournament, they'd probably win bronze instead of the US, at least with how just un like polished their game was. That, that's the best way to put it. Unpolished. And the fact that they were able to get the bronze, I mean, I don't think in a normal tournament with Russia there, that that's that it'll stay that way. So they're lucky. But I think next year's team, they got a lot of returnees, so I'm hoping that's um it's better off for them. Dean, what's going on? Mikey, no more cer certified snuggaroo behavior, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We got 130 in the chat already. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Let us know in the chat down below, Canada or Shekia, who wins the gold tonight? We already had the first game in the tournament where Shekia upset the Canadians. We'll have to see if they have uh, a second upset on their hands. Mason, the game's starting in 30 minutes time, so I guess technically 6.30 Eastern? Chewbacca, what's up, Grav? Congrats on the USA win. Even though I'm a Canadian fan, I was rooting for them. Hey, I appreciate that. I mean, it was miraculous how they found a way to win that game. I still don't, I still don't know how. I still don't know how. Nixon, what's going on? Cody, welcome to the chat. Uh, hope USA doesn't bring back the lousy Quinnipiac coach. Defensive strategies are Rihanna, obviously. Oh, well, I mean, I honestly don't blame him too much because when you look at the defenses, I mean... Their best player on defense is maybe like a Sean Barons or Ryan Chesley. Like, those aren't good options. I'm sorry. Like, this defense was built to score and not much else. And I don't particularly blame him for how bad the defense was because, I mean, Luke Hughes, Lane Hudson, they're not defensive guys. And they're, having, they're playing half the game. So, of course, they're going to have some blunders there, especially versus a team like Sweden and Canada who have mega stars on the forward group. Though I'm really sad for uh, Carl Lindbaum, who's had a fantastic tournament until that this last game, allowing eight goals. Sucks to see. Jasmine, what's going on? Uh, we need those points, especially after the USA game. Um, Nixon says Canada. Mason says Canada. Canada all the way from Dean. Okay, okay. Everything Lily. Hi, please notice me. I love hockey. Lily, that is based. Love to see it. Love to see it. Zach, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat. All right, y'all. We are streaming Canada versus Shekia. 30 minutes time. The gold medal game. And you guys know the drill. Once we get 50 likes, I'll be making my score predictions for this gold medal game. We've got right now 14, 36 to go. I know you guys can do. I know you guys can get us to 50 right now. So hit that like button if you guys are... Uh, Appreciating the stream so far and appreciating the excitement throughout the world juniors because we're gonna be all here throughout tonight It's gonna be good Sweden not clutch. Yeah, Leon, it was crazy just how how that game went. I mean, I, I the fact that their defense was as Discombobulated I didn't I didn't see Sweden's defense. I, I mean in the pre-tournament predictions uh, and or a preview at least I, I was talking about how Sweden's defense is probably one of their weakest that they've really had over the last couple decades really like it, it wasn't really set up for amazing defensive results and at least the guys on the ice there wasn't a lot of high profile ones um so i thought that was going to be an issue but i didn't think it's going to be this big of an issue in this one hey for world juniors we next year yeah they're gonna have like 13 guys still let me look because i think scott wheeler put out the potential returnees um which i thought was interesting because there are certain teams that could have a lot more returnees than others um so let me get this up on the screen here because i think it was really interesting yeah so here's scott wheeler and he has a tweet uh, he has a thread here returnees list for the 2024 world juniors and this is just guys that could return not even guys that will return so for canada you got Connor bedard fantilli beck kurchinski bedard's probably not going to be there fantilli maybe it'll depend on which team he goes to and if they want to rush him up to the nhl but they only have a couple of guys really that will be on next year's team now Korchinski and beck i think will be big parts of it fantilli if he does if he is there i think will be their best player for sure um, but we'll just have to wait and see. For the U.S., they got a lot more. They got Trey Augustine, McGrody, Brindley, Gauthier, Snuggerud, Hudson, Stramel, OK, Chesley, Cooley. A lot of big-time guys. Cooley, I'm kind of hesitant on if he'll actually be there. But I have a feeling that Snuggerud, Gauthier, Brindley, McGrody, they'll still have a lot of that great forward group. And Lane Hudson 
will be a big part of that defense uh, in next year's tournament. But Sweden has 11 different guys that can come back. Leo Carlson is a maybe, um, but I think if I'm an NHL team, I'd go, put him back in Sweden for another year just to give him some more development. Uh, you got Lekka Ramaki, you got Elias Pettersson, Kali Odilis, Sandy Pelika, Wagner Oslin, Bystet Ogren, Pedersen. They got a lot of their big time forwards and a lot of their big time defensemen still back next year. And Sandy Pelika will take that next step as well. So that's going to be huge. You got Finland, who has a few guys still Kako, uh, Ronnie, Nyman, Kimel. Um, but they're definitely going to have to be a little bit reloaded. And then you got the Sheks, who have a few guys with Sapavaya, Sapavaya, Kulit, uh, Shale, Hamara. Um, but really, I think Sweden and the States have the best returnees. Heidek! Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for the dono. Appreciate it. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Heidek. Love you, man. Whatever happens tonight, this match is going to be epic. Thanks for the channel. You're the coolest guy ever. Go check it. Heidek, why are you saying this when you literally exist? How could I be the coolest person when you are here? I love you, bud. I love you, bud. Let's get some Heidek hype in the chat down below. Let me know from those teams where you, who you guys see returning. Right now, we got 30 minutes to go until Shekia versus Canada. Get your score predictions down in the chat down below. The time is here, y'all. The time is here. <laughs> All right. Give me a second, y'all. Grab use of beauty. My eyes are healing. Don't you worry. I think Edmonton keeps dropping. Then they get dro oh. Zoltan, don't you come in here with your abs hype and then saying stuff like that, too. Like, my heart can't handle it. I, I can't handle it. Um, Star Wars Rai Guy, I think Crystal should have absolutely been here, but also, uh, I would say both Canada and the U.S. are a little bit too hesitant on bringing draft year guys unless they're truly special. I will say the U.S. bringing guys like Brindley really paid dividends because he was fantastic in this tournament, but you got guys like Will Smith as well who weren't off the, uh, were off the roster. I think Canada especially though, I mean, Crystal, I think should have been there. Um, and there's a lot of players on this team that I think he's above. Um... I mean, if we're going just just players in general, I think he's better than Schaefer. I think he's better than uh, Bankier. I think he's better than Ostichuk. Um, a lot of guys, but again, he's also more offensive, so I can see where they go with that, I guess. But that that's why I, I'm kind of sad that they didn't bring a guy like Zach Benson, who I think is maybe the best defensive forward of this draft. Maybe not the best, but like the best high-profile forward that can play on defense. Dustin McGrody's goal should have been disallowed instead of allowed the uh, goal today. I think it should have counted, for sure. What are your thoughts on Elias Pettersson, the, uh, the DP? I like him a lot. I had him top 50, I believe, uh, in my last uh, in my 2022 draft rankings. But I, I think he's really, um, really interesting. Didn't have the greatest game today, but also that was just Sweden's defense in general. I think he's going to be great next year in the World Juniors. It's past midnight in Europe. Yarmo Yager is the only one awake. Maybe y'all. Good to see you in the chat, though. Long time no see. After the tournament, would you rather take Carlson second or Fantilli? I mean, I think Carlson had the better tournament, but I'm still taking Fantilli. Um, I, I don't try. I don't want to have the World Juniors affect my uh, view on players too much because it's not the greatest sample. Um, I would say especially for players that are playing against adults um, and and older ones like Fantilli, Carls, like both of those guys play against. A lot older competition and usually um and i like to look at that more broadly especially if they played a lot more games in their season leon thank you so much for seven welcome to the ground gang thank you guys so much for joining and we also got noel thank you so much you king you king absolute beaut welcome you guys we're almost to 64k subscribers and we got 489 legends in the chat thank you guys so much for joining us if you guys like world junior content prospect content this channel is the place to be the place to be we make content year round. If you guys like mock drafts, prospect rankings, prospect pool rankings, everything is covered on this channel. So make sure you guys stick around and scouting reports and different highlights on different prospects. So everything is covered here on the channel. We'd love to see you stick around. But let us know in the chat down below if you guys are just dropping in what your final score predictions are for Shekia versus Canada. Again, if I was if I was rooting for Canada, I would not be I would not be making an automatic win for the Canadians. Even if the Sheks lost their first game versus Canada, 
but obviously they ended up winning that first one but they've been brilliant in this tournament have played the most like a unit out of any team here so i don't think it's going to be an easy uh, easy game for canada whatsoever even if they probably might win but that reminds me we just hit 50 likes which means it is score prediction time what do i see happening in this canada and so, and and Shekia game i'm i've kind of gone back and forth on this because there are there is a situation here where i think Shekia can win absolutely absolutely if, if uh if Sukanik is able to um come up with another big game again actually let me just make sure um i want to make sure i i <laughs> Because you guys have know I've pronounced his name so many different ways uh, in the, in the stream so far. Tomasz Sukanek. Sukanek. Okay, there we go. There we go. Tomasz Sukanek. 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 Anyways, <laughs> go check and beat him again. We'll see, Peter. It's gonna be a huge one. It's gonna be a huge one. But I feel like it's gonna be a really interesting game. I mean, the Shex did were and, and and we're able to kind of keep Canada at bay for a long time in that game especially Connor Bernard who I remember I'm pretty sure only got one uh point in that game versus Czechia earlier in the tournament um but I think it all comes down to that defense again and that and that goaltending in Sukanic I mean if if the defense especially on the top end with Juracek and Svozel I mean they've been the MVPs for the team so far besides Yuri Kulik um but it, it, especially you're a check he's gonna have a heck of a game on their hands because with canada i would say in that first game they aren't they weren't nearly as good as they are right now they have they are nearly uh, as as close together as they are now to me they were a lot more individual they kind of had the problem where the u.s uh in in yesterday's game were very flashy and very individual but not quite playing as a unit now they're playing a lot more like that, and they have a lot more chemistry throughout the lineup. So I think for the Sheks, this isn't quite the same Canada roster that they won against earlier, but that doesn't mean they can't win against them again. Again, they still have a super con 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 intact roster, a super constrict one, and the way they play defense is, is so suffocating. So we'll see if Canada will uh, get past that or if they'll get in the Sheks' traps. But I'm going to say with this game, I don't think it's going to be high scoring whatsoever. I think we're going to be starred for goals tonight. But I think, I think that Canada is eventually going to pull through with a 2-1 regulation win. That's what I'm seeing tonight. I don't see many goals happening, but I see Canada just getting it done. Tanner with the 7 Canadian. Thank you so much, man. Sheck overtime 5-4. Bedard with the Hattie. Wow. So you see the Sheks winning in overtime. That would be crazy, especially if it were to be as high a scoring game as that. That'd be absolutely nuts. But maybe it's maybe it happens. We'll have to wait and see. I would uh, not be too mad, though. I would not be too mad. Let's get some Tanner hype in the chat down below and let us know again who you guys are cheering for. Get some Go Canada Go. Get some Go Shaq in the chat down below. All right, let's get uh, Tanner as the last one here. There we are. Otter, let's get grabbed on 100k subs. Thank you so much, you go. Long time going on the channel. Salty Wing and Ass fan, what's going on? Cheer for the Shex, I am as well. But for all the Canadians fans in here, great to have y'all. You guys were so uh, kind during yesterday's stream. And uh, I still believe that Canada definitely deserved to win that game versus the US. And we'll see if they can get it done again tonight. Sarnia says, hi, Grabber, favorite time of year, D20. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you from Sarnia. Good luck to the Sting. Where do you think the uh, Caps will draft and who? Maybe around 22-ish. I could see them going for another forward potentially. Um, maybe you got like Gavin Brindley. Frank, what's going on? Yo, grab go Canada. What's going on, Mark Andre? Good to see you in the chat. Chaz, baby. That is true, Sebastian. Hattie, man. Love to see it. Love to see him and McGrody coming up huge. They needed it out, out, out from that second line, really. They really needed it. Nice Chess jersey, Winnipeg, man. It's over here. Go Canada. Glenn, thank you so much. Yeah, I got the Dustin Bufflin right there. Dustin Bufflin. Actually, so. Glenn's saying he's from Manitoba. Let us know in the chat down below. Where are you guys watching this stream from? I'm coming to you from Garland, Texas. Great to have you guys here tonight. And hopefully we'll see you throughout the rest of it. It's going to be a heck of a stream. We want to see you here. And let us know who you got, where you guys are coming from. Country, city, town, wherever it might be. Play my play skills for last night's game. And we're great, bud. Hello from Toronto. Dan, you are the man. You are the man. Good to have you tonight. D-League Lee Cell will still be good for Boston. 
Yeah, he had a super snake bit in tournament, but he's nearly a point per game in the AHL, and I've loved what I've seen from him in the AHL this year. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't read too much into it. Uh, Dream NHL final matchup would be, well, Dallas versus Montreal, but that's not happening. So, <laughs> um, out of like a realistic matchup, probably Dallas Rangers. Madara is gonna get a Hattie. We'll see, Ashley. We'll see. I mean, the defensive players in the Shex are not to be not to be messed with. They can do a lot of damage. And they kept Shecky, uh, they kept uh they kept Bedar with only one point in the, in their first matchup, so we'll see what happens. Rangers versus Habs world uh, over World Junior Conference final. Uh that's an easy win for the Rangers. <laughs> Grab either the, after, after the Hughes and the Mets' performance in the World Juniors, do you think it's possible for Nets and Hughes to be in the NHL by the deadline? I would not expect it. Maybe the Mets. Um, but I think they should keep Hughes in the NCAA this year. But we'll see. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Great fans here. Absolutely think bad. So many good ones. And good to see you back in the chat, brother. Long time no see. Jeremy says, let's go, Sheck. Good to have you in the chat, my king. My king. I'm sure for the Czech Republic tonight, but let us know in the chat what you got, where you guys are going, uh, going for Canada or Czechia. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? And if you guys are just coming in, let us know your final score. I'm going two one for Canada. And you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go out on a. This is gonna be maybe my hottest take of the tournament. Are you guys ready? I want to see some yeses. Are you guys ready for maybe my hottest take of the tournament? I'm gonna say this. I think Bedard goes pointless tonight. I think Bedard goes pointless tonight, but Canada still wins. I think in the first period, he was exceptional still versus the U.S., but after that, kind of teetered a little bit off, and he was getting a lot of shifts, but not really much, uh, and Stanko was kind of leading the way a little bit. Um, I know it is mostly foolish to say that Bedard will have no points, but I think he was really matched well against Shekia last time around. Um, but I think, I think that a lot for Canada just rides in that depth for them tonight. Will Fantilli be able to come up again? Um, will we see Gaucher finally put in a goal? Um, Ossie Chuck's been good, but I could see there's being a situation where maybe Wright comes in with a game winning goal, potentially maybe Othman on that first line. I would say, I would say I would change it to maybe having at least one point. I don't think Badar's going to get one more than one, mostly because I, I only see Canada scoring two tonight. I see it being a pretty low scoring game. But either one or zero points. I don't think he'll be dominant in tonight's game. But obviously, uh, you could say that in any other game. And look what he's done. But um, I think in that second half, the U.S. Like, it was interesting because defensively, they were a train wreck. But they still kind of were holding Bedard at bay after he got those two initial points. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Who do you think the player of the game will be? I'm gonna say, you know what? This this might be an even hotter take. This might be an even hotter hotter take. Uh, because I mean he hasn't really shown up this way in the tournament so far. But I think Shane Wright's gonna be the MVP tonight. Mostly because I think there might be a few uh key face-off wins by him. Um, probably getting the game. I'm gonna say Shane Wright gets the game winning goal and potentially gets an assist. Maybe on a maybe maybe Connor Bedard gets an assist on like a Shane Wright power play goal. Maybe Shane Wright comes up with like a primary assist on the second goal for Canada, and that's the game winner. But I'm going to say Shane Wright gets it done mostly because of the overall game, and I think he's going to come up huge in a few uh, key areas defensively. And since it will be a lower scoring game, I could see him kind of shining a lot more. But let us know. Who you guys see being the MVP tonight, whether it be for Shekia or for Canada, who do you guys see getting it done? Who do you guys see getting it done? Yeah, game starts at 6.30 Eastern. We got 15 minutes to go, y'all, until Canada versus Shekia. Gold medal game. Great to have you guys all in tonight. And whether you agree or disagree with my bold takes, I mean, it is what it is. We'll have to wait and see for tonight. But I still think Canada's going to win this game, but I think it's going to be a challenge for them. I think it's going to be a challenge. But I think it all starts with that first period. If, if Canada gets stuck in, in, in the Czech's defensive traps, then um, it'll be a lot harder to dig themselves out of that grave. But if they come up with a couple of big goals to start off the first, then... I think it could be a lot more smooth sailing from that. But also the problem becomes the Sheks have never given up and they didn't give up in that Sweden game. They were down 1-0 in, in the final minute and, and came up with a big goal, David Juracek. So they're going to be a team that no matter what is forcing you as much as possible. So 
We'll see if that goes against Canada, if that pressure is too much for them. We'll have to wait and see. I feel like it's going to be the score, or the score's going to be 4-3 in overtime. Canada wins. I could see it. I could see it overtime. I, I just don't know if there'll be that many goals in this game. I think both goalies. Milic has been absolutely stellar for the Canadians, and I think it'll be great again tonight. And, uh, so, uh, oh gosh, I forgot how to pronounce it again. Wait, wait. Tomasz Sukhanek. 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 It's like Zukonik. Zukonik. All right. I think Sukhanek's going to be great for the Sheks again tonight. He's been unbelievable. Hey, sports and all. Thank you so much for the love. Great to have you in here tonight. But yeah, I think Shane Wright's going to be MVP. I think Shane Wright's going to be MVP, but I think Bedard might get an assist again on that. Maybe a first power play goal or something. I mean, for the Sheks, I think it all comes down to the penalties. They can't give up many power plays to the Canadians. That, that power play has just been too lethal in, in, in this whole tournament. Yeah, Juracek went to Columbus in last year's draft. Fifth overall, I believe. Uh, Cole, not Cole. Thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the Grab Gang, ya king. Love to have you. And also, Ashley, welcome as well. Great to have you tonight. Let's get some hype in the chat for him. Uh, Grab, did your opinion on Milic uh, change for the tournament? I guess so. Um, there's a possibility he gets drafted, um, which would be fun to see. Maybe as like a mid-round swing. Uh, most surprising player of the tournament... That's an interesting one. Actually, let me look up um, like just world junior scoring right now. Um, I mean, I would say uh, Ludwig Vonsen uh, or Ludwig Janssen in uh, on on Sweden uh, having like five goal or four goals, like being at eight points or something. That that was not expected. Yeah, uh, Ludwig Janssen, for, uh, Florida Panthers fourth rounder has 10 points in seven games what's fun about him is the fact that over his entire Elsvenskan career in the past three seasons in sweden he had a total of four goals and in seven world junior games had four goals for sweden so he came up absolutely huge um so i would say that's probably the most surprising for me i was not expecting to do all that much in this tournament offensively um i thought spot check was absolutely brilliant, even though I still liked him before. Um, outside of that, I mean, Yaroslav uh, Chimlar has been a fantastic tournament for the Czechs. Um, and Spoles has been a lot better defensively than I thought he would be, so I, I think that's a big part of things. Um, yeah, I, I would say those guys, at least when it comes to the forwards and defense, I mean, Guyan and, and, and um, Zuka Jack, uh, Zukanek have been fantastic so those are two guys that go undrafted not really too much attention and then just absolutely killed in the world juniors which is great to see ninja plays roblox what's going on i feel like definitely over time that would be so much fun man so much fun let, it, let me know in the chat down below as well let me know in the chat down below how do you guys see your check and disposal doing tonight because this will be their biggest test for sure this will be their biggest test for sure um kim welcome to the grab gang great to have you king or queen all right, let me put the uh, steam. There we go. All right, let me put that a little bit down. All right, now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. We got now 12 minutes to go. 12 minutes to go until Canada versus Czech Republic. The time has arrived. Luke, thank you so much for subbing. What's your opinion on Luke Hughes? Let's go Canada. Um, Great defense, uh, offensively. I was about to say great defensively. <laughs> great offensively, super creative. Um, but to me, the defensive lapses can definitely be there at times. He's just an inconsistent player, and that's going to be a little bit frustrating, but when he's on his game, he's one of the best out there. 12 minutes until the game starts. Well, about 15 more minutes because they like to take a little while afterwards. Uh, Kaylee, my score prediction is 2-1 Canada. I think it'll be super close. I think it'll be super, super close. I wanted to know what you thought about the U.S. Canada game. I think the U.S. kind of got screwed. I I don't think so. The I mean, the first goalie interference call you could have said. I I think it was a goal, but I don't think it would have changed the result. I think the U.S. still would have lost that game. At least that's my opinion. We got 800 legends in the chat. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Stick around. We got Canada versus Czech Republic coming up real quick. And it's going to be one heck of a game, man. I'm so excited for this. I, I, And again, if I was Canadian, I would not be counting out the checks whatsoever. Whatsoever. And I would not be... I would be giving them a lot of credit right now. Obviously, they won early in the tournament. But they beat a really solid Sweden team and kept a great offense at bay. 
um and, and were able to fight right to the very end so even i i think there's a chance that canada could go up 2-0 in this one but i don't think it's over at any point really Oh yeah, that'd be sweet, Glimpse. Loved all the support you guys gave me in la in yesterday's stream. It was fantastic. We just hit 100 likes as well. Thank you guys so much for that. Every like does help and every subscription does help. So it's great to have you guys here. Canada wins. I'll have my back live. Um, no, I don't, Mackle. Maybe in the future. I'm not sure. Oh, who donated? Dan with the two. Let's get what people, what k people in the chat. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. Let's get some Dan hype in the chat down below. Appreciate you, Dan. My man. My man. He is the man. Oh, with a Duncan with the 279. How dumb was that? Check to the head. Five minute penalty. Yeah, I did see that. Crazy. Crazy. Wait. Yeah, Duncan said we got 279. Uh, Patrick said we got 64K. Is that true? Let me see here. It is. Thank you guys so much. We're at 64,025 subscribers. Holy crap, you guys are incredible. Love ya. Love ya. Let's get some let's get some love in the chat and some 64k hype. Appreciate you all so much. That's amazing. All those more during the world juniors, you guys have meant so much. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Holy crap. And of course, you guys are new. We make so much prospect content on this channel year round, not just around the draft on the World Juniors. If you like, if you guys like mock drafts, tray or um, and prospect rankings and and all the analysis on every team's prospect pools, this channel is the place to be. And it's great to have you guys all here. We got eight minutes to go. Eight minutes to go. Let's get some Canada hype. Let's get some check hype in the chat down below. Let us know who you're cheering for, and let us know who you guys want to see win tonight. <laughs> honestly i feel like it's gonna be a really interesting battle at the top i feel like it's gonna be a really interesting battle at the top especially when we look at the top sixes for both teams because you got still players on the checks like like kulich and and sabavalov who can do some really shifty things when you least expect it and to me the she the checks they don't have the best top end four group but they have a lot of chemistry, and that can really go a long way. And especially on Canada's defensive side, like, even though at points they can seem pretty concise, there are points where they can break down. And I feel like for the Czechs, they, they're such a good team at, at capitalizing on those chances that I don't think Canada can back down in this one. Oh, Dan with the five, and Jacob with the five. You reached 1K people in the chat. Here you go. Thank you so much, Dan. Love you. And Jacob with the five as well says, how many NHL teams play their home games in the capital of their state and province? Oh my goodness. Jacob, remind me to uh, look at that in the intermission because I have absolutely no clue right now on the top of my head, but I, I can I can look at that in the, in the uh, I can think about that. And maybe, maybe like, maybe like five. I don't think there's that many. I don't think there's that many. Sports and all. Thank you so much for subbing. Let's get some uh, Jacob as the last donator, shall we? Love to see that. Love to see that. Oh, boy. It's close, baby. Gold medal game. Canada and Czechia. The time is here. The time is here. We are almost here for gold medal game time, and it is absolutely beautiful, man. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys all for dropping in here tonight so far. You guys have been just so just so amazing and it's so such a privilege to be able to stream in front of you guys and be here with y'all and react to this game together it's gonna be amazing krishna i'm canadian i want shecky to win okay okay oh my goodness krishna uh, krishna is really wanting us to know that she wants shecky to win <laughs> How many shots do you think both teams are going to have? An uh, estimation, roughly. Uh, I would say for Canada, probably around 38. Maybe Czechia, more around 25, if I had to uh, if I had to say. Czechia is a lot more quality over quantity, really. The Islanders get Horvat. Do you think they have a chance at the Cup? I think they do. I mean, when you have a, as good of a goaltender as Elias Sorokin, you always do. So, with, with Bo Horvat, though, that would be pretty fun to see. Thank you, Justin, and thank you to all the 1,028 
beautiful buttes in the chat right now you guys are amazing and again we'll be reacting to this game together i cannot I, I don't even know what to expect honestly it's gonna be so crazy jacob with nine okay okay winnipeg edmonton toronto boston carolina nashville minnesota columbus colorado yeah that makes sense that makes sense i was somewhat close because i knew there'd be a couple of canadian teams in there thank you so much for the next for the other dono though jacob love you when does the game start in about 10 minutes charlie emerson my favorite team is the dallas stars no you are amazing cameron you are amazing if Czech wins, will you cook some of a pro Canildo Zello for the chat? Um, I guess I'll have to find out what that is tonight, Wario, but I would love to. <laughs> I would love to. Monica says, Canada, can we get some Czechia and Canada hype in the chat? Yes, Justin, yes, absolutely. USA won bronze, yes, they did. As a Swede, I went Canada to win. Okay, Tobias, I see you. Well, I mean, they did, uh, Sweden did lose versus Czechia, so I could see that. Who will take gold? MCHL. I have Canada winning 2-1. I see it being an extraordinarily close game tonight. Extraordinarily close. And thank you guys all for coming in here and dropping by. Five likes away from 150. Let's get that done, y'all. We got about 10 minutes to go. We're going to be reacting to this game all together. And for people that are asking, it's on NHL Network in the States and TSN in Canada. This could be a wild one. Watching from Halifax. Let's go, Canada. Spirit, welcome. And also, West Robbins. Thank you so much for sobbing to the Grav Gang. Love you, buddy. As well as Jeff. My man. My man. Check is pretty good. I agree. I, I think they're, they've are they been absolutely astounding. The way they've been able to play as a team, the way they've been able to, to command themselves defensively, and, and also Sukunek has been fantastic in goal for the Czech. So I would not assume anything. I would not assume anything. On paper... On paper, this was like maybe the po best possible matchup that Canadians could ever have. But the Czechs haven't won the game on paper. They've won on the ice. Okay, that was really corny. I'm sorry. I'm, I know once I said that. <laughs> as, as I was saying that, I'm like, this is really corny. Should I continue this? And then I did it. And like, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> but you know what I mean? They're not a stacked roster on paper. But they've been just giving their heart out every single shift. And that matters. That matters a lot. Second work for the next two hours about TV or stream. Canada, Chris, good to have you in here tonight. Good to have you in here tonight. Hopefully I can entertain you as much as possible. Coolish is unreal. Yeah, he's been incredible. And I, I'm so happy to see that, man. Oh my goodness, are we getting another dono? Tanner with the 279. All right, Tanner says with the 279. TSN 10 minutes till puck drop. That makes sense. Right now they're in um they're in warm-ups. Right now they're in warm-ups. All right, last donator is now Tanner. Also, shout out to all the donators in uh, yesterday's stream as well as tonight. You guys have been absolutely beautiful. And the donations are the way I'm able to make the, my money for these streams the most. So every bit helps. And then coming in, Philip, one of the OGs of the 10 Canadian. Go Canada, go. Glad to see USA win bronze. Cannot wait to see Brett McGrody and Chaz TVs for the Jets. Love your live streams. Thank you, Philip. That They were both incredible tonight or uh, this afternoon. And you love to see it. Um, two of my boys, man. Two of my boys. I hope they kill it with Winnipeg. I hope they absolutely kill it with Winnipeg. That's the thing, man, is that Chaz can be... Chaz is somewhat inconsistent. He can have great... Uh, he can have just these stretches of inconsistencies, but then you'll have a game like tonight, and it's like, wow, that's that's what he can do. That's what he can do. And uh, it's fun to watch. With McGrody, it's just constant, constant effort. It's so fun. Um... Maylee says, say happy birthday to Emma, please. Happy birthday, Emma. Good to have you tonight. 200 likes is not much to ask. I mean, ThinkPad, you are correct. We got 166 likes right now. If you guys are enjoying the talk and the hockey hockey talk so far, make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys are enjoying the stream so far. We got a few more minutes to go until Canada versus Czechia starts. Probably about five more minutes to go. So let us know your score predictions. Lock them in. I'm going 2-1 Canada in regulation, but let us know. 
Canada or Czechia, who gets the win tonight? Who gets the win tonight? Let us know. Winnipeg on top says 4-1 Canada. Warriors is 5-2 Canada. Yeah, I would say Eurocheck has been the best. I would say it. Czechia has been the best. Or uh, not Czechia, uh, Eurocheck. I mean, Eurocheck, both Eurocheck and Sposal have been un unbelievable. So you can give it to either, honestly. But I would probably give it to Eurocheck. 4-3 OT, any team? I don't know if we'll see that many goals. I, that, I feel like both goaltenders are too good right now. <laughs> They're too good right now. I mean, Zuganek has been fantastic and Milic has been fantastic in goal for the Canadians. So I, I just don't see many goals happening. There will be a lot of chances. I think there'll be a lot of chances, especially for the Can Canadians, but I don't think there's going to be too many crazy goals happening tonight. Yeah, Milic is going to go crazy. I think he's going to allow one goal. I think he's going to be incredible tonight. Um, I, I see him making a couple of huge saves as well right at the very end of the game. Maybe on a Kulich shot potentially and uh, getting the goal for Canada. We'll have to wait and see. There's a chance that he could be MVP. It, 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 depending on how well he does in this game, there's a chance he could be tournament MVP, which would be crazy to think about. Melly, I already said happy birthday to Emma. Please just chill out. <laughs> yes, I did watch the US game and it was nuts, Hayden. I'm still trying to reel from that, honestly. A few more minutes to go until Puck Drop Canada versus Czechia. Good to have you guys all in here tonight. Let me see a one in the chat if you're cheering for Canada and a two in the chat for Czechia. Only put one number in the chat if you guys can. You don't want to get timed out for spam. But let us know who are you guys cheering for tonight. One or two. One for Canada, two for Czechia. Let's see. I'm going for Czechia, but for all the Can Canadians in here, it's great to have you all in here. And no matter what happens, GG's all the way. I just like the underdog, and Czechia has been such a great underdog this entire tournament. We got 15 under now in the chat. You guys are absolutely insane. Love y'all so much. Great to have you in here tonight for the gold medal game. Nowhere else to be. And watching along with us, you can go on NHL Network in the States and TSN in Canada. But it's great to have you guys so far. Just want to do Bedard. I uh, want to see Bedard do Bedard things. I mean, again, I, I don't think Bedard is going to be that crazy tonight. I don't think Bedard is going to be that crazy tonight. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe a glimpse. We'll see. We'll see. It's all because of your, your support, you legend. 2023 draft seems to have smaller defensemen. Who is one big D that you like in, this, in the draft? Dimitri Simishev. Simishev absolutely. Um, he uses his body so efficiently. He's just such a good, strong, physical defenseman who doesn't sacrifice any speed or skating. He has great skating fundamentals, and I think that's going to be a huge player to pick up if you can get him in the 15 25 range that's a fantastic pick to make smash the thumbs up warrior absolutely hit that like button if you haven't vincent i still see him getting a point <laughs> like the fact that a uh, draft eligible player the fact that we're saying that he might not even play all that well and he's still gonna get a point in this game i mean like that's still incredible when does the game start in about five minutes time, I believe? Who do you think will drop Bedard? I want I want Montreal, but I feel like it's going to be Chicago because we can't have good things. We just can't have good things. We're watching uh, you in the car from downtown Halifax. Can you say hi to my kids? Brody, Savannah, and Aubrey. Melissa, shout out to them all. Great to have them tonight. Canada, with, uh, Canada wins 4-2. Two, two disallowed goals for Czechia. Okay. <laughs> that would be uh pretty brutal that would be pretty brutal after the usa game feeling OD ot tonight honestly solid prediction butter i i i'm close to saying ot but i think it'll be 2-1 regulation that's my prediction hey g don't spam don't spam Badar got injured in warm-ups is that true i don't i haven't seen that Richard, appreciate it. Yeah, I got, I got, I got the uh, nice storm jurors in the background. Got to rep the best CHL team. <laughs> they aren't, but they're my favorite. As a Swede, USA Sweden game was insane. Uh, but Duggan with the two is seventy nine. Uh, why does Bedard wear the fishbowl? He's a legend. Um, 
I don't. I, is it a is it a rule for draft eligibles or players under uh, eighteen? Because I feel like I think that's what it, what it is. Um, is if you're under eighteen, you have to wear that. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Whose performance has been underwhelming in this tournament? Um, that's a good one. I I would have to say. Uh, oof. That's really tough for me because let me go down. Let me check, kind of just go down the list. I don't even like. I don't think uh, maybe Jonathan Lekaramaki. He was better in the in the USA game, but still not where you wanted to see him. And he was benched for a while. I think in the third game or something. Um, but I thought he was gonna really do some great things and really didn't. Melly, I live in Dallas, Texas. Also, shout out to all the mods having to control the chat right now. Love y'all. But my favorite team is the Dallas Stars. Brad Lambert is my most disappointing player. Easy. Really? I, I mean, I think he was one of the best players generating offense for Finland. They didn't really have many, many guys doing much. Light Dot, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat. What do you guys think? Canucks bad team or the worst team? I mean, they're not the worst. Chicago exists. Right now, they're saying two minutes and 20 seconds until puck drop. We are getting closer and closer. Get your final score predictions. Matt with the two Canadian. Who's your favorite NHL player? Not in Dallas. Cole Caulfield, 100%. That's my boy right there. That's my friggin' boy right there. That's my friggin' boy right there, Cole Caulfield. <laughs> Least favorite team is Chicago. Thoughts on the Hins contract? Love from Finland. Absolutely love it. Uh, Octon, absolutely love it. Good to have you from over there. What is it right now? Like 2 a.m. or something? Willie, I don't like seeing this 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 slander, bro. He's like fifth in the world juniors in faceoff percentage. He's like fifth. I, I swear I looked it up the other day. I mean, he's not like top. I think Stankoven has uh, a better face-off percentage than him. Um, he might have gone down. I'm not sure. He's at 51%. Like, obviously, would you like to see him win more draws? Yeah. Stankoven's right now at 67%. Absolutely insane. But you can't get much better than Logan Stankoven. He's just a beaut. I mean, once you become a Dallas Stars prospect, you're just elite. I'm sorry. Tanner with the 14. What if we saw a total domination for the Sheck 6-1? I don't see that happening, but it would have to start out with a big goal. It would have to start out with a big goal like two, two minutes in, and it would have to be absolutely insane. But thank you so much for the fit for the 14, Tanner. Absolute legend. Absolute legend, man. That's incredible. But yeah, I, I think it would have to start with a huge goal right at the very start. But if you guys want to watch along with us, NHL Network in the States and TSN in Canada, if you guys want to watch with us, I'll be reacting to the entire game here, and it's great to have you guys. One of my favorite parts is whenever a goal is scored, you just see the flood of comments from the fans of both teams, and it's just the best experience to be in here tonight. But, of course, Thomas Milich going in net and starting tonight for Canada, and on the other side, Tomas Zuckadek. Absolutely brilliant. This entire tournament, a 938 save percentage for the Czechs. But I think the start needs to be huge. Both teams need to dominate possession. If the Czechs can come out with an early goal, then that is huge. But they need it, I think, in the first 10 minutes. They need to set the tempo and they need to set the speed. If they do that, then I think this could result in a win for them. But it's got to start out. It's got to start out in the first little bit. Oh, yeah. Milos has been incredible. I think he could end up being the MVP in this game as well. Let us know in the chat down below which player scores first in this game. Which player scores first in this name? In this game, either for Canada or Czechia. I'm gonna say Czechia scores first. Actually, no, I'm gonna say Canada scores first. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say Dylan Gunther. I'm gonna say Dylan Gunther. I'm gonna say Dylan Gunther. Power play goal, one zero Canada late in the first. But for the gold medal game, we are officially underway. Czechia versus Canada. And the Canadians start out with the possession early. Gunther coming down the wing already with a chance, but can't get a shot on goal. And the Czechs go out, well, out with it. 2023 20, eligible Chalet goes up through the middle, but turns it over. And it goes back down the Canadian way. The defense is going to be huge for the Canadians. Del Maestro 
Puts it all the way down for Offman. Goes in the offensive zone, but Gunther can't keep it in. And back down the ice, 30 seconds already in. 1,500 in the chat. Thank you guys so much for dropping by. We're going to be here throughout the entirety of this game. So it's great to have you for the gold medal game. Unbelievable what we're going to see tonight. Let us know, though, again, who scores first, who will be the MVP. I've seen some Vidars in the chat, some Gunthers as well. I'm thinking Gunther power play goal. I'm going to say Gunther from Wright and Bedard uh, to start the scoring out. But that's going to be later in the first. I don't think that we're going to see much in the first 10 or so minutes. Real deal, uh, Rich the real deal, what's going on? Rich real deal, Rich real deal. <laughs> My boy Rich is back. My boy Rich is back. MVP Milic, absolutely, I could see that happening. I think he's gonna be great. I think he can make around 27 saves tonight. Amazing in that game versus the US. And we'll see if he can continue that type of play, man. He's been terrific. Get some go Canada go and get some go check. Go in the chat down below. Down below. But darn, a couple of great moves and that one goes wide. He was kind of uh, put on the outside, more of a shot along the boards and didn't have the greatest angle on it. Checks, put it back to the middle, right across, trying to get that going was Dean, but we'll get a whistle with 18-15 left. Is this a power play coming up? Oh, Gaucher to the box and a minute and 45 in, the Checks have the chance to strike first. Man advantage for Czechia. This is huge. What even happened? Oh, is that boarding maybe? Uh, thank you so much, James, for seven. Welcome to the ground gang. And of course, if you guys are enjoying the commentary so far, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be here for so much of this game. Next year's World Juniors, of course. I think that was, was that spot check coming off for the defense. Not the other side. But yeah, interference against interference against on against Gaucher. Never mind. Big face off to start things out. And Canada wins the possession. Hines gets it on that right side. And the D-man able to split it back down the ice and right to Zuckanek. Huge power play here coming up for the Czechs, man. This is this is gonna be big. Big block by Zach Dean early in the uh, defensive zone. The Czechs have some room. Back to the point. Kulich getting it across. Shot there. Juracek. Big block by Hines. And it goes across to Chalet. Back to Juracek. Now to Chalet. Coming in. Shooting. Another block by Hines in front. Juracek. He goes for the shot. That one just dribbles high. Great chance already. But not able to get on net. Now 1-12 to go as Canada dumps it down. All the way back down to the ice. Now, those were a couple of really good blocks by Hines, man. Really good blocks by Hines. That was needed. I was pissed at the Dallas game yesterday. Absolutely. I, I didn't watch any of that game, and I'm really happy I didn't. Really happy I didn't. Imagine getting shut out by the Ducks. That's just sad. That's just sad. Whenever the checks, uh, the checks shoot, I get sick to my stomach. Oh, good little save there by Milic on a sharp angle. Puck is loose right in front of the slot. Good little play by Sapovalov to get it back. Spot check, shot from the point. That one gets deflected in from the net and that chance just shot off. Spot check on the other side. Sabavalov in front again, a great chance. But there's Allen to get the loose puck, open net. And thankfully he got the puck on a stick. 15 seconds off in the power play. Checks not really being able to cook much. Definitely not a very good meal. Now eight seconds. Left onto the spot checks behind his own net. That will be all she wrote for the Czechian power play. And 16-15 to go in the first. That's a big kill by the Canadians. Get some W's in the chat for that. Huge kill. Clark gets possession and spins it down the ice. That'll be icing against Canada. Really weird decision there. Really weird decision there. Exactly. Join the Discord if you guys haven't already. Man. Pretty solid game already so far. Big face off here in the defensive zone. Shane Wright. That first line out. Or I guess technically second line now. And they win it right there. Gunther getting the possession. Tries to skip it to himself off the boards. Good little play there though. And the checks get possession back in the corner. Big battle. 
And I think that was that not offside? I guess it wasn't. No call there. Coming up the left side. Good little opportunity here. Good defense, though, by right in the corner. Fantastic defensive play. Oh my goodness. I don't I didn't see who he robbed the uh puck from, but that was a fantastic play by his own net. And was able to start the rush up for Canada. Let me just get the uh, check-in roster as well up so I can get some of the names. I'm, that, I'm pretty sure that was, uh, yeah, that was Sapovalov. What a chance. We get a whistle here, 15, 14 to go. Most important question to come out of this game is who tucks Connor Bedard in at night? Um, I'd assume himself. I mean, he's not a, an adult, but, you know. First goal will be Canada. They've been playing decently. That kill was really needed, though. But the checks have looked pretty speedy so far. So we'll see if that continues. Puck wrapped around Canada's zone. Back in deep. Trying to get that around. Mm, not the greatest. Now coming up the ice, Joshua Waugh, who had an incredible game versus the U.S. Now a shot by Stankoven, and that goes wide. Interesting little opportunity. Is Connor Bernard scoring? Not yet. Not yet, GamerZone. Not yet. <laughs> Finally, a sense of a positive record took way too long. Remember to hit that like button. Absolutely, GamerZone. If you guys haven't hit that like button, make sure you do so. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Great to have you guys tonight. Will Milich get, uh, be drafted? I think so. Coming up the zone. Good little save by Milich on that zone entry. Try to keep that in was ticket check, but... Just overskated it. Hines right in the corner. Now across to Owen Beck. Good to see him getting more ice time, man. He definitely deserves it. Definitely deserves it. He'll be a big piece of next year's roster. But it's good to see him get some ice time while he can this year. Same thing with Adam Fantilli. Who was sensational in the minutes he was given. I mean, the guy has played like five minutes a night since he was on the top six. And has done great things with it. That puck, though, deflected right to the bench, and now a 13.45 to go. We get another whistle. Shots 1-1 one to one so far. Not a lot of action, but I'm... That's what I was saying, though. I didn't, I didn't think this game was going to have many, many amazing chances, uh, but I think we'll start to see the floodgates kind of open a little bit here. But so far, the Czech's defense, especially in the neutral zone, has been really confident, and they've really been keeping Canada from many on-man rushes, many rushes really at all. Sports and all, what's going on? Checks need to play clean. That's our kitty victory. Absolutely, Dave. Absolutely. Can't be giving Canada any power play opportunities. Oh, Brody, it is the first. I forgot to put up the uh, the period. My bad. There we go. There we go. Cadence, Epic Movies. Thank you so much for that subscribe button, Caden. Absolutely love you. Absolutely love you. Yeah, right now we're at 235 likes, y'all. 235 likes. Hit that like button if you haven't. It's good to have you guys here. This is how the Czechs want to play this game. Hashtag scary. They've been they've been good defensively, man. Helly, long time no see. I'm doing very, very well, man. Very, very well. Who didn't equal win? I had Canada winning 2 1, but honestly, I could see it going either way right now. I can see it going either way right now. Banana, thank you so much for liking some, my man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What a king. That's what a king does right there. Or a queen. Or a queen. Either way. Banana, thank you so much for subbing. Let's get some banana and Caden hype, y'all. Appreciate him. Canada puts it down in the offensive zone. Looking to get it right there was Dean, but goes off the boards and the checks get it back to the Canada's end. Del Mastro. Up the ice, another opportunity there, but it goes in the stands after Dean tips it. And another whistle here. Not a lot of offensive cohesion here, and that's exactly what the Czechs want to do, man. Exactly what the Czechs want to do. They want to strangle Canada's offense, and so far they absolutely have. But this is the Czechs' first gold medal game since 2001, and they have the chance to get their first gold medal since 2001. Been a long time coming, but this tournament has been unbelievable by them. 
and in such a strong way, playing like a team more than any other team in this tournament. So coherent throughout every single line. Everybody's an equal. And defensively, they've been outstanding. But Cad on the offensive zone looks to change that. A little chip in front by right. That one goes high. Now, Offman in front tries to put that puck through, but that goes wide. Back in the corner, Wright and Zellweger trying to fight for it. They get possession back, and it squeaks out to the other side with Hines trying to get to it first. Right there, though, good little play. But right there, not able to get it out. Offman in front of the net, in front to right, but he couldn't get the shot off. Looked like he might have gotten held up with a little bit. But Kulic gets some room, puts it in front, and that one blockered off by Milic. Good opportunity. And definitely the Czech's best one, even concluding the power play. Hines playing a lot early in this gold medal game. Left at the blue line, shot by Ticacek. That one gets blocked in front by right. Pretty big one there. Now 12.25 left. No goals yet. No goals yet. Definitely going to overtime. I could, I could see it at this point. I could definitely see it at this point. Clark, a couple of great moves. Puts it in front. Tries to find Bedard. Couldn't get on a stick, though. Good little opportunity. 12 minutes to go in the first. Back to the point for Canada. They've had some good possession these past couple minutes. Bedard put down. No call on the ice. And it'll go back down to Canada's end. Good little fight there between uh, Rezavi and, and Allen. But the Czechs put it down the ice and get another line change here. Czechia, and the Czechia's played exactly again how they wanted to play in these first eight minutes. Perfect game for them up to this point, even if you want to see a goal. But defensively, they've been quite solid. Quite solid. Stankoven behind the net, looking to get something going. Find some room. Stankoven, back pass. You'll find Bedard. Bedard looking around. He'll circle, still keeping it in the zone. Shot there, and it flutters in! Did it hit one in front? It might have. It goes in the net, though. And it's, is it one? Wait, was it waved off? What happened here? And a fight after the goal. Or the scrub after the goal. What's going on? Was it waved off? What? Wait a second. Yeah, I'm not watching the game with any sound. Oh, they're looking for offside here. Oh, that was offside. That was offside. Just barely. Just, well, actually not barely. That was like a few inches, but still. Still, that's crazy. Waved off those 0-0. But our looked like he scored another, but wasn't able to get on the board. My goodness. <laughs> I, had a, I had a feeling for a second it might have been offside, and I thought they were going to call it, but they let it go, which I thought meant that it would have been fine, but obviously it's hard to tell when it's that fast. Good call, though. Coming up the rush. Great chance for... Oh, my goodness. What a chance. That was uh, by Saturk. What an opportunity. All alone in front of the net after that waved off goal. Almost 1-0 Czechia. What a chance. I think that hit off the post. Oh my goodness, man. Canada comes up now. Hines with 10.22 to go. Puts into the corner. Trying to find that now is Bank here. Back in the corner. Ah, she took a big hit. Hins keeping it in the zone. Great little play. Back along the boards. The checks get it out. Down the ice now. And that'll be icing against Czechia. With 10.06 left. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? This is really spiced up a lot in the last little bit. Post shot there by Saturk. And he dot and he just barrels right through Milic. Oh, it, but yeah, Zellweger's stick was right in his skate. <laughs> Can't really do much there. But a great chance there for the Czechs to score first, man. They've been so good at finishing those type of chances. A little bit uh, uncharacteristic for them right there. Pierre Luke, what's going on? Already sweating. Kulich would have scored probably. 
Right, waiting for the ride in the rain. Much love, brother. Jordan, shout out to you. Hopefully I can give you the most entertainment I can while, while that's happening, man. Love to see you tonight. Cord fam, what's going on? Good to see you in the chat. I have no idea how I'm going to watch this game in my Maple Leafs without having a very high, high, high heart rate. I mean, Chewbacca, I guess you have experience at least with uh, teams giving you uh, nightmares since you are a Leafs fan. So, hey, I mean, it should be a little bit easier with that, right? It should be a little bit easier. Uh, Brody, what's the shot count? I'm in a commercial break. I can't see it right now. Hey, my friend recommended me watching your stream. Thank you so much, KK. Good to see you tonight. I will not let you down, brother. You have my, you have my, you have my respect and my promise. Sean, welcome to the Grab Gang members, brother. Let's get some Sean Ive in the chat down below, as well as FPMJ Edits. What's going on, King? What's going on? Oh, shots are still 1-1? One, one? Okay. I thought it changed a bunch, like, that I needed to actually change the shot counter. My prediction was 2-1 Canada in regulation, so it's looking decent so far. It's looking decent. Rise, what's going on? Clark trying to put it ahead. Kulich, good interception. Now Shale trying to put it ahead to Kulich. He gets the puck back right there. Shapovalov! What a save by Milic! Open net there! But Shapovalov can't get the rebound. Or at least can't get the shot on it. What an opportunity, man. Huh. Another shot from the point. That one goes just wide. Good defensive play, though, by Wright again. Not letting Shapovalov get the shot on net. Now coming up, Brendan Hoffman. Keeping it, shooting it, deflection right in front of the net. Right got a piece, but good save by Zukanek. Now 9-17 to go. Often great hit, putting it right on the forecheck. And goes right down as well. And looks like we'll see a penalty against Offman. I don't know if this will be interference or something. Or is it Sapovalov? Wait a second. Oh, it is. Wait, no, it's a Euro check with the penalty. I thought they were whistling something that Offman did. Biuracek, big time D-man for the checks, goes off. That's the worst player you want to have off if you're Czechia. Yeah, that was that was holding, man. You can't have that. You can't have that. Juracek goes to the box, and this is a huge opportunity for Canada to score here. Huge opportunity right here. 909 left in the first. Let, me, let us know down in the chat. If any Canadian player scores in this power play, who will it be? Who will it be? Get your predictions right now. I mean, I did say a Gunther power play goal before this game started. Get some go, Canada. Go get some go checks. Go in the chat. Huge power play here. Big win, though, by the checks, and they get it down the ice to start things out. They really need to get something good. The I mean, the face off's obviously Shane Wright, for the most part, has been pretty good power play wise. Um, that's going to need to continue. Gunther gets it back and crosses it to Zellweger at the point. Now coming in, Shane Wright shot. That one goes just wide. Good little opportunity. Zellweger across to Bedard. Bedard Zellweger looks in, comes in, shoots the puck. Big save in front, and another save on the right rebound. Back to the point. Zellweger looking for more. Bedard still with it. Pressured. He'll find Zellweger again. Back at the blue line. Interchanging. Gunther and Zellweger. Gunther now at the point. Comes right in. Looks in. Shoots that puck and just rip, rips it high. Goes off the glass and right to a check. And back down the ice. But a quick turnover here for the Canadians. And they put it down right behind the net of Czechia. Now right behind the net is Offman. 50 seconds left. Big goal could be scored here. Bedard on the point. Comes in. Looks in. Goes for the pass. Right there. A chance for Fantilli. But whiffed on the puck. Now Offman. Back to Fantilli. Fantilli looking. Across. Goes between Offman and Bedard. Miscommunication. And now Bedard comes in. Goes across. Tries to find some room. Other side. He'll find Gunther. Now for Clark. But that pass. Not quite there. Now Clark at the blue line. Passes Gunther. He shoots that in. Big save by Zuckanek. 
Now Brent Clark back at the blue paint. A shot by Gunther, and he scores! Dylan Gunther, a huge ripper! And he starts out the gold medal game with a power play goal. Absolutely tantalizing shot. And it doesn't get much better than that. On the man advantage, Gunther, another power play tally. And that's exactly what Canada needed. I told you guys. I told you guys a Gunther power play goal was coming. I told you guys a Gunther power play goal was coming. Absolutely perfect one-timer. And just a little bit of a screen in front as well by Zukanek's own defenseman in spot check. But that Gunther shot was just unstoppable. NHL quality. And it's 1-0 Canada. Holy crap, what a goal. I mean, how do you stop Gunther at that point, man? Just unbelievable how he's been able to improve his shot. And his sixth of the tournament comes in the power play. That goal assisted by Brant Clark and Brennan Hoffman. Whew. Unbelievable unbelievable <laughs> seven minutes left in this in the first one zero canada now and that's what I, we were saying before the game man staying out of the box is going to be huge for the checks and they take a penalty your checks off and just like that canada with the lead already that's brutal that is brutal Grab Psychic? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 629 left in the first now. That 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 entire shot just it's in they show it in slow motion. It might as well be in real time. Like <laughs> it might as well be in real time. Just absolutely insane, man. Absolutely insane. Shot 62 for Canada. I'll, I'll change it after the uh, next whistle here. But a big face off here for Stankoven. Trying to get it back. A little bit of space. Bedard comes in. Right in the backhand. Shields away. He'll keep it going. Loses the puck though. And out comes Kulic. Kulic a one-on-one. -on -one, tries to break in. Can't get it though. And now coming up. Joshua Wah. Trying to put it back in the corner. Gets tangled with a little bit there. But ticket check trying to bring it out. And they do stop a volley of good little play. Exiting the zone. Across to Chale. Chale trying to get around at Del Mastro, but played perfectly on defense. And now Bedard comes up. Trying to get another chance, but another turnover. And now Saba Volev. Trying to get around the men. Gets around Wa. Goes over another move. Cooley coming in, in front. What a chance, but another save by Milic. And another one right after. And he'll keep this still Canada's lead. Holy crap. Couple of great moves by Sapovalov. Couple of great moves by Sapovalov. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think the shots are now four to six, I assume, for Canada. Crazy, man. Crazy. WJS, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the Grav Gang. Yeah, Milich has been sensational, guys. Can we get, just get some W's in the chat for Milic just in general in this in this world, juniors? Hey, Paul, what's going on? If you aren't subscribed, I don't get the chuck. You're doing it wrong, man. Gunther scored the power play goal as if there was any doubt who scored the power play goal. <laughs> man, just imagine in like five years' time when Cooley and Gunther are on their prime are in their primes on the same power play. With Clayton Keller on the other side, <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, that's that that's nasty. That that's nasty. I'm sorry. That's nasty. That is nasty, man. I don't care, that boy. I don't care. You know what? The U.S. still have the same exact problems that I was talking about yesterday. But they won the game because Sweden isn't as good as Canada. Um,
540 left. 1-0 Canada. Is that an icing against Canada? Hmm. My friend uh, said Badar is going to be a bust. I wonder who he's worked for uh, as a scout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael. <laughs> Guys, it's gonna be a close game, not 8-0. It's gonna be like 3-2. Yeah, I, I had 2-1 Canada. I, I I don't see there being many goals. But I, I did say there was gonna be a not a, I, I did say it was only gonna be a, with only a couple minutes left, so that was the only wrong part. But I did say there was gonna be a later goal in the first on the power play, Dylan Gunther scoring it. And bada bing, bada boom. It's done. It's done. Um, thank you so much, Marcel, for subbing. Love you, bud. Love you, bud. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, on every can of first overall is a bust like Shane Wright and Lexi Lafreniere. Well, Shane Wright didn't go first overall, but yeah. Who's your favorite player and goalie in the NHL or hockey wise? Um, because favorite player would be Cole Caulfield. Um, favorite goalie would have to be. Maybe Jesper Wallstead or Jake Ottinger's up there for sure. Watching Leafs go, Leafs go Canada. Hey, sports and all, thank you for the compliment, my bye. I'm drinking some water. It's pretty underrated. <laughs> now we got the five minute warning here in the first. Big opportunity. I mean, the checks just need to get some momentum going here. They haven't been able to get too much since that Coolidge chance earlier. Canada's doing a decent job of controlling the possession and most importantly, controlling the speed. The checks haven't really been able to really get the, to these pucks first. And that's been a a big way that Canada's been able to kind of strangle their offense. Big hit by Allen right behind his own net too. Gunther trying to get that puck loose. Fantastic play by right along the boards. Unbelievable. What, wait, was that right? I'm pretty sure it was because Gunther was right there. But now I see that uh, Bank is out there, so I'm not sure. Uh, Emmy, the first goal scorer was Dylan Gunther on the power play from Brent Clark and uh, Brendan Offen. Yeah, Sebastian, good to see you again tonight. Ooh, wow. close chance. Couldn't get the stick on it, though. Four left to go in the first. Behind the net. Try to go out with it is bank here. And some physical play with Sapovalov. Back to the point it goes. And check check is able to get it out with 350 left. How much uh, was the ticket to this game? I would expect a lot. Oh, what a chance, Fantilli. The stick of the defender just got on it before he could rip, rip the shot away. Solid pass between the two draft eligibles in Bedard and Fantilli. Man, Fantilli has looked really good. He, it looks like he's getting a lot more time on ice in this in this first, at least compared to other games, which is good to see. Um, was on that second unit, obviously, for Canada, the one that scored. Um, so that's huge. Bedard gets a puck a little bit loose in front of the net, trying to put it home. A stake open. Good chance. Fantilli also driving the net. But that one goes back to the boards. Bedard gets the loose puck. Bedard comes in, gets an opportunity, and shoots it. But that one goes off wah. Now in the corner, Del Maestro. To a Stankoven, across for Bedard. But that one gets stuck in his skates. Across, breakaway, Sapovale, or Kulis right in front. And it goes just through Milic, but to the corner. Oh my goodness, what a chance. What a chance, man. I know, actually, that was a uh, Ricevi. And Bedard puts on a quick little shot. Enter the zone. Man, what a chance. Just a quick little defensive collapse. And the Czechs are almost able to take advantage. So close, man. Because it looked like Milic got a piece, but it didn't look like he was... He, he obviously didn't have it, but he also didn't look like he thought he had it. Um, he didn't know where it was. So it was pretty glad that it was not in the net. In the offensive zone, Dean trying to get it across to Gauthier. Puts it back into the corner. Yeah, I haven't really liked... Go I'm going to say this right now. I really haven't liked Gauthier's offense in these past couple of games. He's had a lot of... I, I think Dean's been setting up most of his opportunities, um, which is obviously what Dean is, is supposed to do. 
and Gauthier is supposed to be more hard hitting, but um, and obviously more of a penalty kill player, but still, he's had a lot of chances to bury things. Um, and just hasn't been able to finish or ha find that finishing touch really. Gets stripped of his of his stick as well, and now Ostuchuk behind the Kine uh, Czechian net, trying to get it across to Dean on the backhand, still with it, trying to find a uh, feed here behind the net right now, battling along, trying to find that loose puck, but gets double teamed, and it goes right in the sky. Canada keeps it in, but. Nobody back for the reinforcements. Yes, this is the finals. Gold medal game. Gold medal game. One minute left now in the first. Oh, boy. We'll see. Can the Czechs get a, get a late goal here? Good strip of the puck by Shane Wright. Now enters the offensive zone. Gunther, great stick. Who was that on the, on the Czech side? Marcel Marcel, fantastic stick, breaking up that Shane Wright pass. 35 now left in the first. That'll go all the way down the Canadian side. And now behind the net, they have one last chance to excite the rush. Bedard coming in, dangles through a couple of defenders, goes right in, stick over in, and that shot saved by... Oh, going right in against Zellweger. Another chance. He shot that wide. Loose puck gets put in the corner. Zukanek, a great save, though, on that stake of an opportunity. And Bedard, perfect pass. Del Maestro, a shot from the point of Rocket, but right into the chest of Zukanek. Fantastic, man. Fantastic couple of saves by him. Exactly what was needed if you're a check. Elon, appreciate your enthusiasm. Good old days when CBC would have the game on. No wonder hockey fans are dropping off. Good to have you in the chat, Elon. Appreciate the love. Four to one Canada is my prediction. It's not bad, Jerry. I had two one Canada, and we're kind of trending that way. Both goalies have been really good so far. So I'll have to see if that holds up. Come on, Canada. We can't lose to Czechia again. Thanks from Whistler VC. Got you in the my ear at work. Awesome job. Thank you so much, Champagne. Good to have you tonight. One last dump out for Czechia, and that will be all she wrote for the first period. 1-0 Canada. And the Gunther power play goal is the difference. Man. 1-0 Canada after the first. That was a that was a really interesting first, but kind of what I expected, honestly. The Czechs keeping it close, keeping it constrained, but Canada still, in a lot of ways, being able to get past the pressure and um, and ultimately getting the score on the board that they needed to. A heavy, physical, defensive, and crazy first period. You know what? Since this is the last game of the World Juniors, can we just get a, some Ws in the chat for just this tournament? It's been so good, man. The World Juniors is always so good, and this tournament has been something special. Um... Jeremy, good for you, my man. Good for you. <laughs> good for you as well, Comedy Couch. Good for you as well. <laughs> was unwatchable as the uh, as a Czech Republic. I mean, Rodis, it was. Uh, it was still quite brutal, but I, I think there's still a chance for Czechia to win this game. Again, you guys were down 1-0 with like 12 seconds to go uh, versus Sweden, and then scored a goal if you're a Czech from the point, and then ultimately won that game in overtime. So I would not count anybody or anything out right now. But now we're into the first intermission. And honestly, I feel like that was a pretty pretty refined period by both teams. I mean, you can just tell how much these two teams have matured over the tournament, especially Canada, uh, and how much more they're playing like a team and how much more they're able to, to pick apart the Czechian defense and, and their attack um, and really keep them from a lot in the, defense, in the neutral zone, which has done so much for them, man. Really impressed by the Czechs being able to relatively shut the Bedard down. Yeah, so far, I mean, he's had a... Obviously, you're not going to keep Bedard from getting chances, but then did a good job of uh, keeping him off the score sheet, so far at least. 
Also, let, uh, let me see what the, uh, can, actually, can somebody in the chat let me know what the shots were in that first so I can uh, update the update the board? Question, what's your favorite World Junior memory of all time? 2020 World Juniors, USA winning versus Canada 2-0. Just insane. Especially with that team, man. My favorite group of Americans ever. What do you think is the biggest surprise of the tournament? I mean, you're watching the biggest surprise of the tournament right now in Czechia. Um, I expected them to do solid. I expected them to be resilient, but like this, absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you told me that they would beat Sweden before this tournament, like, no way. Absolutely no way. And how good they were in the preliminaries as well. They've been, they've been a force, man. They've been a force. What do you think there is a chance Mitch Cobb or Fantilli could go first overall? I don't think there's a chance um, at this point. <laughs> I really don't. Hey, uh, a grass question. Do you think uh, Winnipeg will send Chaz back to the Moose since Lucius compete uh, completes the hat trick in the U.S. Uh, in overtime, U.S. wins bronze over Sweden in World Juniors? That'd be fun. Um, I'd really like to see him there. But honestly, him and McGrody are both going to do great things in Winnipeg. What's the chances of Bedard going to the Flyers? I mean, let's see right now. Uh, according to Tankathon, the Flyers have a 6.5% chance at Connor Bedard. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no Ivan, Ivan, Ivan tonight, um, which is just the saddest loss of this of this year's World Juniors. They should have let him. They should have just let him keep, keep playing. I don't care. Uh, who cares about age gap, age differences? P let him play until he's 40. I don't care. Uh, possibly Quinn. <laughs> Czech juniors have been waiting uh, for medals for 18 years. Absolutely, Amir. It's been incredible to see what they've done. And hey, let's say this. Let's just say this ahead of time. Even if the Czechs lose this, the, the worst possible scenario for the Czechs right now is that they get a silver medal. Like, that is incredible for what this team was projected to be, what I projected them to be. And to see them even win a, get a silver medal, that is an incredible achievement for the for this Czech team. So if it happens that way, which I think it most likely will, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have anything to to hold my head down at if I was a part of the team. Obviously, you want to win this game, but you should still be so proud of what they've accomplished so far. Bedard's a goat. Dev says, go Canada, go. Ashley, let me know. Let's get some roll call right now in the chat during the first intermission. Let me know who you guys are cheering for. Get a one in the chat for Canada and the two in the chat for Shekia. But also don't spam it because, again, you will get muted if you do. So just a fair warning. One number in the chat, one or two, who you guys are going for. I'm going for my checks. I'm going for my checks. One of my memories that stands out is when Morazic was full of energy in Edmonton and it was um, by Canada for the win. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Too low-key, imagine Slavkowski on this Czech team. Who's going to tell my boy? <laughs> Who's going to tell my... <laughs> Who's gonna tell my boy Paul that Slavkowski is Slovakian <laughs> or Slovak? <laughs> I know, I know what you mean, Paul. I, it's fine. It's fine, Paul. It's fine. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Ten to six, Canada. Okay, okay. Let me change it now. We got about 10 minutes to go until the second period starts, y'all. So stick with us tonight and let us know who you guys see scoring next, whether it be for Canada or Czechia. I'm going to say next goal is Yuri freaking Kulich, man. Yuri freaking Kulich, because he is incredible. And I love that man. Hey, 
Hey, Jacob with a two. Name the last three defensemen to win the Calder. Well, Cider. Um, Cider. Ga uh, Goss Spare. And Tyler Myers, I believe. Or no, um, didn't Aaron Ekblad would have called her? Either Cider, Goss Despair, Ekblad, or like Cider, Goss Despair. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Makar, yeah. Yeah, that's true. See, the problem for him is that that's like the least, that's like the least of his accomplishments. So it's like, so what I remember the least. <laughs> Jeremiah, what's going on? Welcome to the chat. I deserve to get <laughs> I deserve to get cooked for that one. <laughs> no, you're good, Paul. You're good. You're good. Oh, he lost to Panarin. I forgot about that. Yeah, Cider Makar and then Ekblad. I forgot he lost to, to Panarin. That was a crazy year. That was a crazy year. Thank you so much for the dodo, -do, Jacob. I love you. I love you. King. King right now. Hey, Jeremiah. Welcome to the Grab Gang, man. You know what? You know what? Can we all, can we all right now also get some hype for Jeremiah in the chat? Let's welcome on, him onto this community. Great to have you tonight. Sheck beer. Can uh, beer and I, or uh, Canada beer and I say that it's not, it's not even close. I would imagine so. I'd imagine so. Michael Isamon? I mean, I think so. I'm kind of surprised that he did it in... That he... Did, wasn't he claimed earlier? Check uh, Sweden to bad offensive and USA to bad defense. Canada will have both good... Uh, defense and offense, therefore they will win. Not far off, uh, Andres. Is Makar the best defense? I'd say so. What are your thoughts on Kulik? I, I absolutely love him. I absolutely love him. To me, he's such an interesting player because I think the defensive ceiling is so high, while he also has just a, the, a great brain for the game offensively. He's a guy that can skate well for himself and, and can get into high danger areas really well. Um, and I think that's created so many great chances for him passing and shooting wise this tournament. Um, but I, I just, I just love him as a potential second line center. Like to me that there's a guy that can be that good someday. Mamet, what's going on? Why would nobody claim Verona? The cap it, unfortunately. Hype, what's going on? Welcome to the chat, my man. Uh, what's the time? Charlie, it's, we're in the uh, first intermission right now. Josh Norris, he impressing you this year? Absolutely. Goaded. Quintain, hello. What's going on? We got about five minutes to go, I believe, until this second period starts. Right now on the uh, board in Scotiabank Center, they're saying seven minutes and 15 seconds. So we still got a few more minutes to go until the second period is here. Gold medal game, Canada versus Czechia. Let me know in the comments down below. What is your final score prediction now after one period? Has yours changed at all? I'm still going to go 2-1 Canada in regulation. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Santiago, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Good to have you tonight. Will the Oilers make the playoffs? I think so, but also... Just trade for Chikrin. Like, I, I don't understand why those bozos haven't done it yet. Honestly. Um, Mara says 3-2 Czechia. Quantain says 2-2 as a final score. Bill says 4-2 Canada. Faro says 2-1 Canada. 5-2 uh, from both Scotty and Bobby. Okay, I see you. All right. Yeah, right now, six minutes to go. 
This second period is really going to set the tempo, man, because I think the checks are going to start out pretty well. They'll have to, really. Brad, do you think 2023 will be on par or will surpass 2015? I think it's really hard for this draft to do that. I don't think so. I think the top end of this draft might be around the 2015 draft, but I think it's not going to have as much depth. Like, I don't think the guy you're getting... I don't think, like, the 20th best guy in the 2015 draft is... is or I don't think the 20th best draft uh, guy at the 2023 draft is going to be nearly as good as the 20th best guy in the 2015 draft. Actually, that's a... Um, I should probably look that up right now. Like, just... And what that would actually look like. 2015 NHL draft. And look back on it. Because, I mean... It, it's crazy. Yeah, so like the 20 like the 20 of score is like a Dylan Strom type player potentially or like an Anthony Sorelli or like a Connor Garland or like a Yoel Eriksson Eck. Like I don't think Yeah, like it's in, like I look at look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. The 2015 draft is so good. Is so good. So these are the top end. These are the top end guys obviously. Look how far this is how good this draft is. Look how far down you have to get to Troy Terry. Now, obviously, he hasn't played many games, but he's been incredible in his career so far. And look how far down you have to get to him and guys like Lawson Krause, who are also still very, very good, uh, especially on offense. And like John Marino, like the defense as well is really good from this draft uh, on top of things. And like, if we just go down, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, like the twentieth guy being a Dylan Strom or Yul Eric Erickson Eck. Like I can bear that. Who's who's on my board right now? Twentieth for twenty twenty three. Um, Colby Barlow. Like I don't think like a Colby Barlow player, the type player, is going to be better than Yul Eric Eck. Like I think Colby Barlow. Is like a Josh Anderson potentially. I don't think Josh Anderson is good, as good as the old Eric and Erickson X. So I, I I feel like by the fifteen uh, by the ten range, that's really where it starts to uh, drop off a little bit. Also, for the people that are complaining about me not showing the game, it's intermission, you goofs. <laughs> and also, exactly, Santiago, exactly. Wonder if they will ever host the World Juniors in Winnipeg. I'd go watch. That would be fun, Irvin. I love that. Emma, go right ahead. Nicholas, what's going on? Good to have you in the chat. Who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for the Czechs, Jeremiah, but no matter how it happens, um, hopefully the best team wins. Oh, yeah. Dude, Diane, that, that, that Gunther goal, actually insane actually insane i'm check but still happy canada's winning interesting <laughs> hey biotic welcome to the stream good to have you tonight oh yeah ek is definitely underrated for sure oh do we have 64.1 oh my goodness we did holy crap we're at 64,132 subscribers. Get some W's in the chat. That is actually unbelievable. Thank you so much for the new subs coming in tonight. You guys have been amazing already. Let's keep it going, shall we? If you guys are enjoying the commentary so far, hit that subscribe button. If you guys like Hockey Prospect Talk, we do it all year round. Whether it's the World Juniors or the Draft, we would do it all throughout the year. If you guys like prospect rankings, mock drafts, scouting reports prospect pool rankings individual videos on prospects this channel is the place to be we'd absolutely love to see you here for the long haul so stick around with us stick around with us Twenty twenty three will be worse than 2012 not 2015 this is the first time watching a game with my dad oh not bad emma canada's been pretty good so i think we're gonna win three two not not a not a bad prediction do you like the current Dallas Stars jerseys or the older ones? I would like the older ones if they were a little bit updated. I don't love the old logo, you know, on the star jerseys. Um, uh, so I'm fine with the ones they have now. Um, but if they reworked it a little bit, I would be fine. With, uh, I'll be happy with that. 
Leslie, welcome to the crowd gang. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Cheeseburger, hello. Pens says go penguins. Who is a third line center you could see the pens training for? Um, I mean, Christian Dvorak, maybe? <laughs> Another trade with the halves? That would be interesting. I think he could fit pretty well there, at least if you're going to have him as a defensive face-off guy, you know? Turn your hat around. I won't see L, but I do have the uh, flyers on the back. Hockey legend, doing quite well, man. Good to have you tonight. We also got Gabriel, uh, we got Upkeka, we got uh, Sebastian in the chat. Great to have you guys all come in. We are now about to start for the second period. Canada versus the Czech uh, versus Czechia. Yeah, it's great to have you guys all here tonight. Get some go Canada, go. Get some go Czechia, yeah, go in the chat down below. And let me know in the chat who scores next. I'm going to say next goal is Kulich. I'm going to say next goal is Kulich. Let us know your next goal score. Huge second period coming up. Huge middle frame in this gold medal game. And we'll see what happens next. Canada up 1-0. Puck is dropped. And right now we got the shots in favor of Canada. It's 10-6, which tracks pretty well considering the power play history for them. And how many shots they got on goal in that last one. The Czechs start out with possession in the offensive zone. Right gets that puck first and shoots it down the end. And getting to it right up the gut is Juracek. Or, uh, yeah, you're a check. I was about to say ticket check, but it's your, actually you're a check in the end. Becca, thank you so much for seven. Welcome to the Grab Gang. Good to have you. Another great defensive play. People are going to be really disappointed with Bedar with uh, with Wright's. Oh, wait. Is Del Master going to the penalty, uh, uh, to the penalty box? I was going to say, people are obviously going to be right, uh, disappointed with Wright's offensive tournament so far, but defensively, he's easily been the best Canadian player, I feel like. Even strength, at least. What was the penalty here? That's a penalty? What? Dog, no way. No way. I'm an American. That was, this is like a, tripping? <laughs> what? Tripping? Bro, I'm an American. Canada just got robbed. What was that? Shot from the point. That one gets blocked off by Allen. And into the stands for a whistle. That was... Okay. Tripping? Really? I thought it might have been like knee on knee or something. That, I guess, would have justified it a little bit, but... <laughs> Bro. Bro. It didn't look like his, like... Unless he was like, I, I I wasn't looking at his, um, I was looking at the knee, but I wasn't looking if he was really extending it all that much. 140 left in the check power play here. And a minute into the second. Coming up the rush, good little speed. Now back to the point for Svozel. Gets it. Now across. Barbanek still with it. Loses the puck. But taken back around. Behind the net now. That's by Saturk. Now back along for Barbanek. Across shot there. That one saved off. Good chest save by Milic. Good save by Milic. Welcome back, GamerZone. Also, yes, 350 likes. We're at 314 right now. Every bit helps. So if you guys have been enjoying the stream, We'd appreciate that a ton. Great to have you guys. That that's this is crazy, man. Sandman, who has a radio these days? <laughs> One minute left. Big draw win there by the checks. Kulich gets that puck. Now back to the point. Chalet. Across, you'll find you're a check. Now, big ripper by Coolidge, but that one saved by Milich and goes into the stands for the whistle. Nobody knew where that puck went, but just kind of got whistled right after. 51 seconds now left. Oh, it was blocked by Wah. Really good block in front. Oh, it was right in the skate of, of Milich and he, and he got the whistle. Okay. Wah's been incredible, especially in the penalty kill, man. 
Especially in the penalty kill. What a tournament for him so far. I just love... I think the, out of all the international jerseys, I think the Czechs have the most underrated jerseys. Especially those full red ones, man. Just so good. Posterdoc sign? Wait, what? Are you guys for real? Bro, get the heck out of here, man. <laughs> get the heck out of here. You guys are trolling. Oh, what a chance! They score! But it's waved off right after. Short-handed, they scored, but... Looked like it got maybe waved off due to goalie interference. And Zukanek is injured on the play. Oh boy. What happened? What happened? Oh, dude. He looks... That looks bad. He's barely moving on the ice. So Juracek didn't get it after the clear attempt. Great pass by Obstachuk. And, and yeah, like that was goalie interference. Like... Bro, <laughs> that was the most, it, I swear to goodness gracious. Yeah, if this, if uh, if they review this and it is, it is called not goal interference, I'm actually going to, like, I'm going to die. Like, compared to that third USA goal that was disallowed in the last game, not being called off due to goal interference. I'm really hoping that Zukanek is, is fine, though, because this looks brutal. Yeah, he's having two players on his side, having to get him out. This is so bad for the Czechs, man. But it's good to see that he's on his own. Is he going to get out of this game? If he's out of this game, that is actually brutal. That is actually brutal, man. <laughs> Me when I lie. That shouldn't count, man. That shouldn't count. Yeah, a little bit. Like, I don't think he needed to run him as much as he did. He's still in the game! He's still in the game! My man is fearless! <laughs> My man is fearless, man. By the way, uh, Zukanek has as many wins as Dominic Hasek did back for the Czechs in 1985 with five right now. Not too bad. <laughs> Really good that uh, Zukanek is still still good to go. <laughs> Sounds good, Matt. <laughs> I don't care. Stream the game. <laughs> He's one of those guys that can't afford it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, true. That They are unpredictable. That goal, by the way, uh, was still called off. 20 seconds, uh, 27 seconds ago on the Czech power play. 1-0 Canada. Oh, great turnover. Option shock. Shorthanded. Breakaway. Save. Zukanek. <laughs> The Czechs have allowed two different breakaways, two different players all alone in the power play in like a 20 second span. Brutal, man. Zukanek, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Good for him, man. That was so bad, you're a Czech, so bad. Come on, man. Surprised Ops to Chuck didn't bury that. He's usually money with that stuff. Oh, Zukanek got it with the skate. Or the end of the pad. Looked like he got it at the end of the pad. Still crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream. 60 second cinema. He needed to shoot that where mom hides the cookies. That was what he was doing. Yeah, a little bit low. Face off shot by Stankoven. 
Never mind. Okay, that was uh, it was whistled, but still. Best goalie for the Tri City Americans. Yeah, it's true. He's been solid. Why are these are these face offs getting whistled down? What's going on? Or is there a penalty? Wait. What? Is there not a Wait What are they looking at? Clock malfunction? Hello? <laughs> Okay. All right, face off here in the offensive zone. Joshua Watt and Bedard. Four seconds left on the power play for the checks. Canadians win the face off. Zellweger just puts a floater right past the net. Stakeover trying to do some work while they get their man back. But now the high, behind the net tech or uh, catch with it. Canada now puts it ahead, trying to get that with Stankoven, but now leading the rush on the other side. Quick shot there by Sapovalov. Now a sharp angle shot goes right to the middle, but not able to get that was catch, and the Czechs have to retreat right back to the neutral zone. Ooh, all-star uh, lineups are out? I know they were releasing them uh, in today's uh, game, through today's games at least. I'm guessing it's on NHL PR. Good little rush here by Barbanek. 16, 33 to go in the second. Still anybody's game. One goal could tie it for the Czechs. Another could seal the Czechs' fate. Quick shot by from the point. That one goes off Milic. Another big save. Now down the ice. Bedard trying to squeeze. What a pass. Stankoven and a save by Zukanek. Absolutely mammoth, mammoth pass by Bedard. Another one across. That one goes wide. I need to see that play again. It looked like Bedard dove and chipped the puck with his stick across the other side of the ice to Stankoven. That was actually unbelievable. And now Dylan Gunther with some men, but Sposal strips him of the puck. And that one goes back down and off the bench for a whistle. I don't see anything from the... Is it going on the actual NHL account, I'm guessing? Dude, that pass by Bedard was insane! <laughs> he did! He did! Holy crap! That is more impressive than any single, single goal that Bedard has ever scored. That is the craziest thing he has ever done. He dove for it, and he had his stick where he could actually chip it, and it wasn't just sliding it. He saucered it somehow I'm willing to bet 99% of people wouldn't even be able to do that if they were given years to practice holy crap years a whole lifetime what a play Shane Wright has arrived 2-0 Canada what a goal what an individual effort and he comes through in the gold medal game I told you guys I told you guys Wright was scoring holy crap what a goal <laughs> That was just absolutely incredible by the captain. Goes through Sposal, absolutely deeks him out and puts it top cheddar backhand where Zukanek couldn't even see it. Shane Wright, how do you do? <laughs> man, what a goal. What a man. Dude. That's incredible. Shane Wright, birthday goal in the gold medal game. And he comes up in a huge way. Man. <laughs> Shane Wright. Oh, man. What a play. What an individual effort.
And the captain comes through to make it 2-0 for the Canadians. Can we get some W's in the chat for Shane Wright showing up like that? My goodness gracious me. Disappointing tournament. Who? Who? <laughs> wow. Unbelievable, man. That's what that's the thing with Shane Wright is that he that he's that he's so good and when he when he wants to be, it's it's just insane. It's just insane. 2 0 Canada. I said the goal scorers. I didn't I'm pretty sure I said the goal scorers before the game would be Gunther and Wright. Your boy is a psychic. Your boy is a psychic. And until Canada scores that third goal, potentially, then uh my final score is looking to be pretty decent right now. 1404 left. Shane Wright, man. <laughs> That's the thing is that it makes him frustrating that he can't do that all the time, but you can just see the talent, man. Look at that. That puck protection, that the defense he's provided, not just this game, but all tournament. The face-offs, everything has been just so consistent from him. Um, and, and if he's able to provide that type of offense every game, man, obviously he has an especially even strength, but you can see the glimpses still. You can see the glimpses still still um taking goal home baby we'll see roxy i would not say i would not say anything yet but looking pretty good for the canadians so far i still can't get over that can, is it just me or, or, or it, it, i think it might just be me i still can't get over that bedard play i still can't get over that bedard play that was still insane that got me off my seat and then right just uh kept me going holy crap i i still can't get over that man i still can't get over that pass <laughs> Like, that's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen at any level. At any level. What's your definition of bad, though, Alex? Because um, earlier in the tournament, he was at, like, 65%. Um, right now, I think he's at, like, 52% or something. Now, could he be better? Definitely, but... Um... I know early in the tournament, especially on the power play, it seemed like he was like 80% face-off percentage. Like on the power play, he was getting tons of wins. Yeah, shots right now, 15 to 9. Man. <laughs> Shane Wright tries to go for another individual effort. Are you kidding? Almost does until he was kind of knocked out. Now Tyson Hines a chance. That one blocked by Svozel in front. Really good block. That was needed. All right, 9 to 15. Shane Wright, man. Shane Wright. <laughs> That's incredible. That was incredible. That's the thing, though. For, for Shane Wright, he's been so good defensively. Like, this is the best I've ever seen him play on defense this game just like in this game yeah and but also tournament wide like he has been the best canadian de uh, player defensively i would say gauche is the only one close but like it's not a, it's not a, i don't think even strength there's a competition right now like he is always and, and it's not just defense it's also getting the puck and possession out of his own zone like he's been able to feed gunther really well on those rushes and that's created a lot of extra offense for the for canada that they wouldn't have usually and those type of things go a long way when you're trying to sustain pressure and trying to keep the speed and pace going, right? Um, for bo both with Offman and Gunther, really. Uh, Stanky's been doing solid. Stanky's been doing solid. Not nothing generational right now, but he's playing well. He's playing well. Imagine Bedard to the lighting. Gross. Gross. Oh, man. Good. Good. They got the Bedard uh, poster up there. That's nice. 
Oh man, we got 1,200 people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for coming in. And now that it's 2-0 Canada though, who do you guys predict to see, or who do you guys predict to score the next goal? I had two straight back-to-back -back goal score uh, predictions. Well, actually, I had Coolidge, Coolidge scoring for the Czechs, but I did predict Shane Wright to get the second goal for the Canadians in this game. But I'm going to say the Czechs get the next goal just because it has my score prediction just has to happen. So I'm going to still say Coolidge, but let me know what you guys are thinking. Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go... He's been really good in this game. I think Sapovalov's going to get it done. He's been really a lot more um, consistent in this one. Let us know who scores next, either for Canada or Czechia. Smash that thumbs up, people. Agreed. We are two likes away from 350. Think Milos will get drafted. If so, what round? I could see him getting drafted in the fourth round. Maybe as the earliest, but um, after that, I could definitely, I could definitely see it getting done. Uh, we're 11, we have 11.43 left to go in the uh, second. Nice, uh, what is that, Rotom Fridge profile picture, local GC? <laughs> By the way, that Del Mastro trance, really close. Uh, Hayden, no, sorry. <laughs> Deuce, I'm American, but I'm also a dual citizen. Uh, my dad's side is from Canada. I like Shane that that Shane right those Shane right and Connor Bedard plays man like we got the you I, I would have appreciated them like giving us a little time and space between those because they were both so good that I we had no time to breathe what like the right goal happened like 30 seconds after Bedard made one of the most crazy passes I have ever seen in my entire life like give me a break please <laughs> Imagine Kraken get Bedard. Oh my gosh. Bro, imagine a center. Bro, they would they could actually have right and Bedard. They could actually have right and Bedard. You could have Bedard in the wing. Because you would already have Baneers and 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 uh right. Like they could have they could have Bedard on the wing and it actually make a lot of sense, which I think would be really helpful for Bedard. Since I don't think he's gonna be a center long term. He has I'll just say this. He has been playing his best hockey ever in this tournament. And he's not playing center. He's on the wing yet, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, but even though I think there's a chance for him to play center, I, I think if he goes to a team like Seattle, who already has center prospects locked and loaded, in in two top guys in 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 Benier, like if you have B Bedard Beneers right, you're winning a Stanley Cup. Like if they don't win a Stanley Cup of that core, that is genuinely the biggest choke, uh, one of the biggest chokes of any core I've ever seen. Like it would actually be incredible. Like, that's a, that's a better top three than what the freaking, like, Leafs have. Like, it would be, like, the same type of top three forward-wise that, like, the Lightning have with, like, he with uh, Kucherov, Stamkos, and Point. You know? Like, it's, it's up there as, like, the elite of the elite. Ooh, good little play in front of the net. Almost scoring that was um, Adam Makura. That's why Habs need Bedard. Yeah, I think Bedard will be really fun. Uh, there as well but that's why i also think that anaheim would also be a really good destination for bedard because you're most likely gonna have zegris and mctavish as your centerman which means you could have bedard and zegris or bedard and mctavish who cares between the two who you would put him on on who who which center you'd have him with on the wing like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you get results either way Kevin, who scored the second goal? Shane Wright scored the second goal. Hey, Dev Dev with the 10. Haven't been able to watch the tournament, unfortunately, so it'd be nice to hear your opinion on the 50% of the Canadian blue line that is the Hawks prospects, Del Mastro, Alan, and Korchinski. Yeah, it's been it's been interesting. Thank you so much, Dev Dev, for the 10. Love you lots. Let me get you guys the last donator now. There we go. All right. Um, I would say Dil Master has absolutely been the best out of the three uh, defensively and, and especially along the boards. He's done a really great job of, of springing Canada's attack um, and getting away from def from offensive pressure. Um, to me, he's been maybe the best overall Canadian defenseman, and that's been a huge thing to see uh, out of this tournament. Um, even though I like Zellweger, I definitely don't think he's been nearly as strong defensively. Um, Allen has kind of just been what I, what I've seen from Nolan Allen in the past. Great shot. 
good physical play. I don't really love much outside of that. Korchinski hasn't played that much, sadly, mostly because kind of Zellweger has his role of being that power play D-man, but I think next year he's going to be huge. Um, but he's been kind of playing as an extra, so there hasn't been really much to, to really say about him. But yeah, Del Master's been great. Allen, I'm not huge on, um, and he hasn't really changed my mind in this tournament. Uh, and then Korchinski, uh, it is a little bit disappointing that he isn't playing more, but I wouldn't worry too much about that, really. The fact that they have, like, what, a 7th overall pick or ninth overall pick, whatever he was, as an extra, I mean, that's pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Kind of would fit so nicely in line with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Don't think it's going to happen, though. Uh, McDavid is easily better than the Bernard. I, I think McDavid is better than Bernard, but I, I think but I think Bernard will be on like the Matthews kind of tier where he'll where he'll probably be like the second, third best player in the league. Maybe not the best since McDavid is there, but um, I think he could be maybe the best offensive or one of the best offensive players out there. This game is pretty solid, Owen. Pretty solid. Sean, what's going on? Eddie's, what's going on as well? Good to see you both in the chat. I'm seeing some nice Halifax Moose Edge jerseys in the stands. Absolutely. Austin Matt, would it be Mitch Marner then? It kind of makes sense. If they're if they're only gonna have like one all-star. They're only gonna have like one all-star. Maybe Mitch Marner then, I would assume. Or William Nylander. Imagine how cool that would be. Yeah, when are they presenting those tonight? So at 6 p.m. Eastern. Huh. I mean, it's not crazy. Uh, it's not too out of the question, you know. Golovich, there's no rosters on this on this article that you're sending. <laughs> it's just the news article. <laughs> Though you're probably it's probably for the troll. Probably for the troll. 13 that are in the chat. Thank you guys so much for dropping by tonight. You guys have been absolute legends. Love every single one of y'all. Love every single one of y'all. Oh, who subbed? Uh Vernetti, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the ground gang, you goat. You goat. I love you, you goat. Absolute king. Absolute king right there. All right. I think dry style is better than Austin Matthews. I mean, you're it's okay to be wrong. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, Stan Coven is a forward. Hey, Jeremiah, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the grab game, buddy. How's it going? Big fan from Long Island. Chris, welcome to the stream. Going pretty well, man. Watching some pretty good hockey tonight. I did see the Skip Bayless tweet, yeah. You think Coffee will be voted? I hope so. He definitely deserves to be the Habs vote. Or Habs guy. Um, like, 100%. Not even a question. Like, as much as I like Suzuki... Come on, guys. Come on. C-Mac! Thank you so much for subbing. Also, 375 like, 75th like, goat stuff right there. Goat stuff. The Oilers was the playoffs. Do you think McDavid or Drysaddle won out? I don't think so. I think it should be Nylander that goes to the All-Star game. I would love Nylander, man. I mean, I have already... I, I'm Since having Nylander on my fantasy team, I'm obviously a little bit biased, but, you know. I will say this. I've really been impressed. I've really been impressed with the Canadians' defense in this second. They have done a really great job suffocating that neutral zone and not really allowing any high-danger chances. Like, they've allowed some shots from the point and some from around the perimeter, but they've not allowed much. Um, that comes from guys like even El Mastro. Um, other players like Tyson Hines playing really well on their own end. Um, so you got to give them credit right now. 
how for how well they've done that direct in in that area uh it is not one zero it is two zero lit bro thank you so much for seven that's was still around how would he look with bedard on the same line I mean, isn't he like 45? I mean, it's still be pretty fun because he's Pavel Datsu. Quick shot from the point by D, and that one gets blocked off. 8-14, now to go in the second. Still 2-0 Canada. Shot 17 to 12. So let me fix that up for y'all. All right, 12 to 17. Big face up in the offensive zone for Canada, but a big win by the Czechs. But they just bring it down the ice for an icing. That was awful. <laughs> David Spacek will be unreal in the NHL. I think so. Maybe not unreal, but I think he'll be pretty consistent and maybe a bottom pairing guy. Uh, Dennis, thank you so much for subbing. Shout out to you, you goat. Who has Canada's goals? Dylan Gunther got the first, and Shane Wright got the second. By the way, um, I just want to put it out there that... Actually, let me just check real quick, just in case. Because I don't think Bedard has gotten a point so far, right? I don't think Bedard has gotten a point so far. Kulich along the board shot there by a big shot there by Juracek now coming up the end trying to find Stanko was the Bedard pass just past him though behind the net good outlet play there by the Czechs but Sapovalov almost gives it away yeah for some reason it's still oh it's because they don't they don't update until after the period I don't think did uh Bedard get an assist on that right goal I don't think so right because it was five on five yeah no not yet I, I said Bedard was going to get at most one point in this game, and I was cooked for that. Now we're only halfway through, so take it with a grain of salt. But besides a couple of besides a couple of really flashy plays, Bedard hasn't been amazing in this game. Um, so just food for thought, you know. Six fifty four left in the second. Two zero Canada. Checks with a little bit more pressure in these last couple of minutes, but that's got to be more consistent from them. Down the ice, checks win, uh, get past the icing. Quick little shot there. That was a good chance by by Rosavi, who's been really good in this game. Uh, Blue Jackets prospect. Do you think Sorokin or Barzal could be voted? Abs if Sorokin isn't in the All-Star game, like that's, that's genuinely embarrassing. Like he's been the best goalie in the NHL this year and it's not even close to me at least. Mustafa, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the crowd game, brother. Uh, Jordan Rocks, what's going on? I'm not saying he's not the best, but so far, at least, um, hasn't been as good. Besides, again, the, that that pass that we saw earlier. But that's the thing. Like, he can do things like that. Fantilli trying to put it in front. Or, um, that was a bank here trying to put it in front. See, the, like, this is the thing. Fantilli's having to play with Canada's, like, two worst forwards right now. What is he supposed to do? And they take a penalty too. Oh wait, no, is that che wait? Is that against Czechia? Never mind. Wait, is uh, Jack using the Australian? He missed the first, bruh. That's just sad. That's just sad. Is it a power? Is it a Canadian power play? Because that's brutal, man. That is brutal for Czechia. Oh, we got about five minutes left in the uh, in the second, I believe. Another goal for Jackie was nice. What's with the goal scoring? Love to see that though.
Uh, the other, oh uh, yeah, I, I don't think any of the, uh, I don't think they're both, and you're gonna want out personally. Just bought a reverse retro devil's jersey. Nice, Zach. Those ones are sweet. I like them more the more I see them, honestly. First time typing in the chat, Daff. Well, welcome to the chat, my brother. Welcome to the chat. You know what? Let's uh, let's get some let's get some hype for him. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so Brabinet goes to the box for interference. It looks like. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Did you guys see that? It looked like the ref called it like five seconds after the actual interference happened. Or am I blind? Because he collided with, it looked like Bank here, but then like five seconds later, it didn't look like he called anything. And then they looked like he called it like five seconds later. What the heck? Either way, Canadian man advantage here, 145 left. As the Canadians look to come in the attack, Bedard to right. I mean, if Bedard is going to get a point in this game, they'll probably come here. Crazy on the man advantage. Hey, Rozzy! Thank you so much for being a new sub. Welcome. Good to have you. Welcome to the Grav game. Can I talk? Yes, you can. Love the gestures in the background. Of course, J-Rock. I got the uh, Dustin Bufflin right there. McDavid is better than McKinnon, for sure. Will Brazil be voted in or not? Maybe. I mean, I think he's been decent this year. Uh, definitely better than last year for sure. Um, it's a possibility. I'm not sure though. 113 left in the power play. Five minutes left in the second. Zellweger. Cross Badar looking in. Tries to pass it across. Just fine right there and he gets the loose puck. Right double team. Tries to get it back to the point, but that puck was interfered with and back down the Canada end. One minute now left. Hey, Kidder, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the ground, gang. You goat. And Mason plays. Welcome to the ground, gang, you both. Oh, in front of that, what a chance for Offman. And a great save by Zucanic. Absolutely fantastic save in front of the net. Almost like the Bedard score, uh, goal that he scored versus the U.S. Um, looks like that'll be offside. 32 now left in the power play. All kinds of subs tonight. Love to see you. Yes, sir, Warrior. Yes, sir. Yeah, just commentary grades, but appreciate you being here. Just like to talk hockey and uh, commentate over the game and everything. Wait, is that another penalty? What a save, though, by Zuka Neck, man. Just barely got it with the pad, and then again with the pad. Your chick's not really felt all that affected defensively in this game. Oh, too many men? Wow. Too many men penalty against Canada. That could come to haunt them. 421 left. Three on three for 30 seconds here, but they do get the possession to start things out, which is huge. But it'll be a check power play after this. That's brutal, man. That is absolutely brutal. Dalton, thank you so much for subbing. Ya king. 16 left, checks in the Canadian zone, Sharping will shot, and that one goes in the stands, and now 9 left. Oh, do we have 64.2? What? No. Bro, holy crap! 64,205, thank you guys so much, all the new subs coming in, another 70, you guys are incredible, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Let's get some 64.2k hype in the chat. Let's get some 64.3k hype in the chat. Thank you guys all for the new subs coming in. And again, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button all throughout the year. Hockey prospect content. If you guys like prospect content, of course, but mock drafts, of course, prospect rankings, scouting reports and different guys, prospect pool rankings, all of that on this channel and more. So you'll want to stick around for all the content. All the content.
And thank you, of course, to all the donors, all the mods tonight, keeping uh, this uh, chat, uh, or uh, for all the donors for donating and all the mods for keeping this chat uh, as civil as possible tonight. We got 1,200 people in here, so that's no short, short order. We got three likes to go until 400, so hit that like button if you haven't, y'all. So far, the checks power play 0 for 2 with three shots, 120 now on the man advantage. This is a big opportunity to get back in this game. 335 left in the second. And the checks need a spark here. Back down to the corner, trying to get that loose puck with Chale. Almost in front of the net. Oh, that was so brutal. Sapavala was right there for the pass, but it just was too far past him. Ostjid shot. Great effort on the penalty kill with only one hand on his stick. Still able to waste some time. Now 48 left. Chale. Leading the rush here for the checks. Drop pass will find. Little feed for Kulik. Now back to the point. Sapovalev. Spozo one timer. That one blocked in front. I think Wa got a piece. Back to the point in the corner. Chale. Spozo. Spozo looking. Kulich on the other side. Kulich looking. Coming in. Shooting. And that one going high. They'll find Sposal, though, for the retrieval on the corner. And he gets bodied off by Wah. Fantastic effort on the penalty kill. And now 13 left. They give it away to Canada. And now down the ice, it'll be dumped. And that will likely be it for the Czech power play. Another fantastic kill by the, by the Canadians. And we're back to 5-on-5 five five with 2.20 left. I'm from England, but Canada's my team. Not bad, Matt. Coming in, Fantilli all alone, great chance! And an even better save by Zukanek. A little bit of a deceptive shot there. Man, Fantilli's looking good in the limited minutes he's played. And he got right out of the box too and came up with a big play. Milic gets that puck back. Only 13 saves so far for the first period and or through, through most of the first and second. Not a lot of quantity put on on Milic, which I think is a good um, idea in theory by the checks, but it hasn't really paid too well in the scoreboard yet. It'll be offside against Czech. Yeah, that's just bad, man. That's just a bad play. Who was that that was offside? That was by uh, Jakob Koss. Not good enough. Dang, another two Jack Hughes goals? That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, so let me look on hockey reference now. So you're saying 17 goals over his last 19. I want to see how many just points in general he has as well. I mean, it's it's insane. Over his last 18 games, by the way, he has 15 goals, 8 assists, 23 points. And now that it's uh, 19 games. Oh, good chance there by Hines. We'll get a whistle afterwards. But now over his last 19 games, he has 17 goals, 8 assists, 25 points. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Steve, thank you so much for subbing. Wait, so what are they, re what are they looking at? Do you like Matthews? Yes, I do. Uh, did Beneers do something already? One minute left now in the second. Quick shot there by the Czechs. Another save there by Milic. Back to the point. Quick shot again and another gra grab there, but that one whistled down with 51 to go. Just not enough, uh, not enough bodies in front for Czechia. They're not doing a lot physically. And that's a testament, though, to Canada's defense and how well they've been able to block them out. Uh, Dill time. My score prediction before this game was 2-1 Czechia. It's looking pretty decent right now. Jordan, second period. By the way, the last medal for the Czechs was in 2005, getting a bronze medal 
So no matter what, they've done some incredible things here in this year's World Juniors. But still trying to win this game. 33 seconds left. And the Czechs have another rush coming up. Kulich coming through. Kind of gets bodied there by Del Mastro. Still tries to keep the puck going. Now Sabavalev gets a little bit of room. Spins around. Now at the hash marks. Gets it back to the point. He'll find Spozel. Shot right there. But that one goes through. Isn't able to get through the bodies in front that needs to. And back down to the corner in the Canadian end. Good individual effort here by Spacek. Right in the deep end. Now back to the point it'll go. Shot there by, uh, by Sek. That one loose puck as well. Now across another shot. But that'll be it for the second period as D makes a couple of big blocks in front of the net. And the Canadians still keep the check scoreless as we head on to the third period. Holy crap. One potential period to go. And potentially 20 minutes left in the gold medal game. 2-0 Canada. Let me know your prediction down below. Put a 1 if Canada wins this game and keeps this lead. And 2 for Czechia. Will they come back? Let us know, y'all. Let us know. Do you think Vancouver will tank for Bernard? I think they should, but I don't think they will. Because they're not the... Uh, Smartest tool in the shed. <laughs> or sharpest. Man. Igor Shosturkin is an all-star, interestingly. Oh, Ely Tolvin and another goal. Yes, sir. Hey, and Dev Dev with the five is often worth taking a look at as part of a cane trade to the Hawks, not just by uh, based on the tournament though. Um, I think if he's like the, I, I think it depends whether you want a first rounder this year or Othman, because I don't, I don't know if the Rangers would give both. I don't know if the Rangers would give both personally. Thank you so much for the Dono Dev. And then Jacob with a five. Which pick from the 2022 draft did you say? That is dub. I don't care what anybody says. Right? Cooley, Lambert, or McGrody. Um, I think all four picks were dubs for their respective teams. But I would say... I would say C for Brad Lambert. If, I, if I'm trying to remember back on it, I was really high on that Brad Lambert pick. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay, uh, Jacob and DevDev, for the donations. Let's get some hype in the chat for him. Absolutely appreciated. I would assume it was it was Lambert. I would assume it was Lambert. Sounds about right. Scars! My boy, Jacob. My boy, Jacob. Where did my phone charger go? What the... My phone's about to die. Give me a second, y'all. Oh, here it is. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Let me know whether you're cheering for the Czechs or the or the or the Canadians. How are you guys feeling right now, tonight, on a scale of one to ten? I'm doing pretty well. Solid eight. Solid eight. But I wanted to see. I want to see the Tolvin and Chance here. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one versus Toronto. I'm, ha I'm happy that Tolvin is doing so good. I'm really happy that Tolvin is doing so good. Oh, Jake with a two. Thank you so much, brother. Man, good for Ellie Tolvin, man. I'm really happy that Seattle took a chance on him. Jacob the two said, oh, McGrody, that is a dub for the Winnipeg Jets. It was. It absolutely was. Let's be real. It absolutely was. <laughs> Shane Wright could very well get player of the game. I could see it. 
But I can also see Milich getting it if he gets the shutout, potentially. So we'll see. Trooper Canada, how you doing? Grab Connor. Good to see you tonight. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. We got 425 likes right now. Thank you guys so much for everything you guys have done tonight. Absolutely insane. And all the new subs that have come by as well. You guys are absolutely incredible. Also, we hit a high of 1,682 viewers on the stream tonight. And you guys have continued. We still got 1,100 buttes in here. 1,100 buttes in here for a World Juniors game. You, you guys are incredible. You guys are incredible. The Honda says, go Jets, go. I would say so. I would say so. Milich needs a cape as part of his gear. <laughs> Not far from the truth, Chris. He's been phenomenal. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Um, I want to see it. Put a one in the chat for Milich or a two in the chat for Wright. Who would you give the MVP of the game to so far? Because Milich has stopped every puck, but he hasn't. I mean, I, I would probably give it to him. But also, I don't think it's that um, that big of a difference. Let me know. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick because... I need to make sure I'm going to go to the bathroom before the uh, game is back. So I'll be back in a second. Let us know. One for Milich and two for Wright. Well, but you trying to start a bro train? <laughs> he is. Ooh, Schneider getting a goal. Okay. I see you. I see you. Man, I'm so glad. I'm so I'm still glad about Tolvin. And what I would really like tonight is an Atu Ratu goal. I don't know if the Islanders are playing, but I love that guy. Love that guy, man. Two goals in five games, playing like five minutes a night. My bro is goaded. My boat is goaded. Sick Guelph Storm jerseys in the background. Of course, Adam. Of course. You just gotta, you gotta have it. You gotta have it, man. Remy, right now we're in the second intermission. Uh, let me see if we know how close it'll be until the third starts. About 12 minutes-ish, if I had to say anything. Hey, Nathan, what's going on? Welcome back. We're discussing your grabs gone for number one or two. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I can't even. I can't even lie. Right, he picked him up in Dynasty at sex because he short shifts himself. So sad. So sad. Hey, Hedo with the goal. Nice. Nice. Hey, Habs loss. Habs loss. W? W? Who think we'll get Bedard? If you're right, I'll donate. It's going to be Chicago. I I'm just preparing everybody for the fact that, that Chicago is going to win. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Chicago is going to win the lottery and we're all going to be sad. And that's just what's going to happen. And... I'm just telling you, it's gonna happen. I don't we don't want it to happen, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, they are playing? Okay. Interesting. Morgan, just subbed. Have you thought about becoming a sports commentator? I'd love it. I'd absolutely love it, Morgan. I mean working with sports has been a has been a blessing as well, so it's just fun to fun to talk about hockey. Mason, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, thank you so much. It's Gracie for subbing. Welcome to the Grab Gang. Right now, the Flyers are winning over the Coyotes 3-2. Nice little tank pull going on right there. 
Ooh, crack it up 3-1 now against the Leafs. Interesting. Yeah, Govich, please can the Devils win against the Blues? Like, that's... I beg. I beg. Jared McCann with a goal. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> My fantasy goat. My fantasy goat. Uh, Banana, right now we're in the second intermission. Right now we're in the second intermission. I've been informed that the Nicholas Abe Kubel goal has just happened. <laughs> Hopefully, Canada can win back-to-back -back goal again. They haven't won back-to-back -back in forever. But are coming to San Jose. I would love that, Jordan. I'd love that. In terms of, like, where I'd want them to go, I would say Montreal. Uh, realistically, I would say, like, Montreal, San Jose, or Anaheim would be my top bets. Actually, and this can't involve your favorite team. Where do you guys want Connor Bedard to go to? Because I say Montreal. It can't be your favorite team, though. It can't be your favorite team. Yeah, I go Montreal. <laughs> I go Montreal. Omni, thank you so much, brother. Love the kind words. Oh, yeah. I, well, maybe not. I don't know if he's the best. I'd have to look, but definitely up there. It's going to be up there. I, fi I found it so funny that people were saying that was going to be a bad contract at the time. Like, because it was obvious that Jack Hughes is going to find a way to make that one, at least a solid contract. Like, he's not going to get that much worse, really. Um, so it was funny how people were saying it was a giant overpay. Maybe, like, at the time, maybe slightly, but, like, not even that much i don't think it's probably pretty fair at the time uh and it was funny because jack hughes was kind of like the first one where it's like okay like i'm gonna get this eight-year deal and for a ton of money and people are gonna overreact um but he's kind of one of the first ones that really got like one of those longer term deals at such a young age and that kind of like spring like a, a like a consecutive amount of so many of them um like i thought it was a solid deal uh, at the time, I remember. I didn't, I didn't think it was amazing. I probably should have thought it was amazing, but um, I just knew that Jack Hughes was still going to be worth that type of money, you know. Uh, Parade, right now we're in the intermission, second intermission. Mason, I'm cheering for the checks, but no matter what happens, I'm, I'm fine with it, honestly. Oh, that's true, Patrick. Hit that like button if you guys haven't already. Duncan with the seven, though. Can you imagine the Blues stay hurt? Embrace the tank. We do not talk about that timeline either. We do not talk about that timeline either. But thank you so much, Duncan, for the big dono. The big dono. <laughs> big Yoshi. Big dono. Let's get you as a last donator king. My man, Duncan has come through again. Yeah, it has been a really good world, Juniors. Really, really good one. Um, NHL Network in the States and TSN in Canada. Thoughts of the VC contract? I think it's fine. 800K, league minimum, you can't really do that badly with, I don't think. Oh, I remember thinking Dry Sidles was not very good. And that was an L by me for sure. But it also it was it was just a risky one because I remember at the time um he hadn't really popped off yet. Um but obviously we saw how that worked out. Thank you once again, Duncan, for the dono. Appreciate him. Who's better Kako Lafreniere? Right now, Kako, absolutely. Like not even like between the two, like Kako's way better defensively. Um Maybe not the better finisher. But I think in every other way is is better pace wise, especially. Those jerseys aren't gonna pay for themselves. Send the dono. Appreciate a warrior. And also so true for Mason. Jeff in the zone. What's going on? 
Man, they're showing that Bedard goal again, or that Bedard pass again. Oh, Andreas with the two with the dodo. Yeah, I think the VC contract is solid. Um, as a penalty killer, defensive player, 800k, I mean... And he's also scored pretty decent this year, too. Uh, I don't know if he's going to keep that going, but also... He just really fits well with the Rangers identity, so... I don't think it's too bad whatsoever. Thank you for the live stream and comments. No problem, Bray. Good to have you here. Heesher, Suzuki. Uh, right now, I go Heesher. But both are quality. Just joined under pack practice. Mac, what's going on? Good to have you in the chat. I do have her OHL team. Would you rather be stuck in mediocrity or be considered fraudulent? Frauds. Absolutely. Because one, if we're con if if my team is considered a fraud, we probably won something to be considered a fraud. So I'd rather have won something than be mediocre. I don't care if people like I'm a, I'm a Dallas Stars fan, okay? I can take people saying a championship or a win of mine is fraudulent. All right, I'm a Dallas Stars fan, okay? <laughs> I can take that. I can take that. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, Wyatt, the goal scorers are Gunther and Shane Wright. Yeah, I had Canada winning 2-1 in, uh, in, in regulation, but I could see that maybe being 3-0 Canada, perhaps. I have admitted to being a Vikings fan. Oh, F's in the chat for Jacob. <laughs> F's in the chat for Jacob. <laughs> I think we've got about five minutes to go until the third starts up, y'all. Hey, Connor, thank you so much. Go. Favorite OHL team is the uh, Kingston Frontenacs because I live near Kingston. Nice. So true, Chris. So true. Imagine not liking Pokemon music. That's such an L. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, actually, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I, I don't, I don't feel too bad. Sorry, I'm a Cowboys fan that was born in 2003. So. <laughs> Oh crap, third period is about to start. Never mind. Why did they weird? They didn't have any timer or anything. All right, y'all. Third period is about to start. 2-0 Canada. And a huge period coming up. Will this be the final one? We'll have to wait and see. But here we go. Let us know in the chat down below. Who are you guys cheering for? Get some go Canada go and get some go Shekia go in the chat down below. Get some good luck for your team in this third. It could be badly needed. It could be badly needed. Opening face-off goes the Czech's way. They put it down the Canadian end. Get some go, Canada. Go get some go, Czechia. Huge period coming up here. And if the Czechs can get an early goal, you never know, man. I mean, they're feisty right to the very end. Unlike the U.S., they actually will give a crap if they're down a couple of goals. Um, I say that as an American, so if any Americans get, get mad, I don't care. I don't care. Um, it's just the facts, bro. <laughs> but watching from Jamaica, Jordy, what's going on? Good to have you in the chat. We got 1300 in here. Great to have you guys all coming in. Whether you're here for Canada or the Czechs, great to have you in the stream tonight. And if you guys are new, we make 
yearly hockey we're not yearly um we make hockey prospect content year round on prospects individual guys prospect rankings mock drafts good little chance there by the checks and the tip went just high pass it to milich 30 seconds in already a decent little opportunity there for the checks but we'll see if they can capitalize here normally their strength has been capitalizing on chances right looking for a second and sukanek getting just a little bit of that puck what a great play by Wright and gunther now coming up wah gets around but right into the chest of zukanek and that'll be another whistle 24 shots now for the canada let me change that 24 to what was it 24 to 18 i believe canada has monopoly on ice hockey that's boring eh. All right, yeah, 16 to 24. Jeff says go Canada. Connor says go Canada. Get some support for your team, y'all. A minute and 20 in and nothing surrendered by the Canadians. And they're 18 minutes away from having gold around their necks. But still a lot of work to do. Bedard across. Trying to find Brant Clark there. But a little bit of a turnover here. And Czechia comes up. Trying to get that around was uh, Marcel Marcel, I believe. And back in the corner. Gets it back. But coming up, Stankoven. He'll find Bedard. He'll get some room, but can't get the shot off. Zellweger goes for the middle. But can't get that shot off either. Now Bedard across. What a save, Zukanek! Rob, Zach Dean with the pad. Absolutely sensational. And he keeps Czechia in this game. What a play. <laughs> what a pad save, man. That was just brilliant. So bad Kraken is beating the Leafs. I mean, they're still a decent team. Oh, Baneers of a goal. Let's go. Love to see a Baneers goal. Love to see a Baneers goal. He now has three points over his last two. So there you go. <laughs> but you guys know I love Maddie. So that's how it happens. Checks came out to play. Yeah, they did a lot better this third. But they needed to. Quick shot there. Rebound in front. Shawley, what a chance. Point blank, just a f couple of feet right above Milic, but shot that wide. One of the best chances the Czechs have gotten all game, if not all game, honestly. Now Sapovalev looking to get more. Shot by Kulic. And that one, I think, just touched by Milic as well. And the Canadians get it out. 17 minutes going in the third. A couple of really good chances there by the Czechs. A little bit more pep in their step, but... They need a little bit more than just energy. They need some finishing here. Haven't been able to find any of it so far. How much time left? 1640. 1640. Canada in the offensive zone. Brant Clark switching. You'll go get a pass right in deep. Schaefer now getting around the pressure. Back to the point. He'll find Del Mastro. It'll go down and deep. Barabinex trying to get that post shot. That one, quick little shot by the Canadians. And that one saved by Zukanek. Some pile up behind the net. But man, Shale knowing exactly the opportunity he missed. Literally right in front of the net, man. He had it all alone and shot it wide. You can't do that. Brutal. Brutal. Jay says, go Canada. We got 13 other legends in the chat. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Love to see you guys all dropping by. 
Whether you guys are cheering for Canada or Czech, I'll try to be as balanced and as fair as I possibly can. I'm cheering for Czechia, but Canada definitely has been deserving to win this game so far. Milic, another solid one. But not, like, being, like, one of the reasons why they won, like, last time. Obviously, one of the he is one of the reasons, but he's not one of the definitive ones. Made some, still stole some pretty good saves, but Canada's defense stepped up. Even if the Czechs might not have the full group that the, the U.S. have. It still had to be a tough battle, and they've used their physicality amazingly in this one. Right? Puts it right in front, but Offman couldn't find it. And back down the ice, it goes to the Czechs, but intercepted a little bit. And put right behind the Czechs net. 1540 now left. No, Milic is not drafted, but he is 2023 eligible. I do have an Oilers jersey. I'm a McDavid one. I don't have it up there, but still. Samantha, what's going on? Everyone's up to grab for a warm chocolate chip cookie. That is true. That is true. <laughs> we got 474 likes right now. One away from 475. So let's hit that mark. Let's get to 500, y'all. Appreciate it. Another uh, blue line shot there by the Czechs. A lot of reliance of offense from their defensemen, which comes with its strengths and weaknesses in a lot of ways. Let's go, Bedard get a hat trick to be the best junior ever. I don't know if he's going to get there. We'll have to wait and see. He's been kind of quiet in this game. Though his passing has been really a highlight. Not really getting in a lot of shooting lanes, but... Really using that deception that he has quite well. And that's one of my favorite parts about Bedard is that he knows... He knows that other teams know how good his shot is. And he'll fake the shot to go for a pass if he needs to. Um, and so, and there's times where his lack of selfish, uh, where his, where he has a lot of lack of selfishness, and that that can really provide a lot of points for him. Honestly, just that by itself, everybody knows how good his shot can be, but his passing can be quite underrated too. That's why he can be such a versatile offensive player. Oh, brutal play there by, uh, oh, br just brutal play on the blue line by Spacek, unfortunately. <laughs> Fantilli goes in, one-on-one, -on -one, battles through, gets the puck back. Great play by Fantilli. He puts it back to the middle, tries to put it ahead to Beck, but offside. Thank you. What are you doing, bud? Man, Fantilli with a great play, and then nothing. Then they just waste it. Kane and Baker is so, so, should be so thankful that the rest of his team is so good because he's just not very good here. <laughs> like I'm sorry to say it, he's just not very good. Who does he? Yeah, he's with Minnesota. I uh, like I just mm. checks behind the Canadian net. Rabinet gets it to the point. Shot there by Yura. Check that one. Whistles wide. Fantilli, first to the puck, trying to scoop that out, and they do. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Canada tips it in. Now 13.40 left in the third. Checks behind their own net, looking for some offense here. This is it. This is it. <laughs> check pass hits a broken stick and they have to dump it in 1327 to go 2-0 Canada coming up right there Dylan Gunther he gets a little bit of a move some space but he gives it right to a check in Marcel Marcel not sure what that pass was about but now the check's back in the offensive zone thankfully some puck luck right to Offman and give it away to Shane Wright the Czechs now in their own zone. Gunther gets the puck loose. A weird pass. Not enough on it. Could have feed it right again. Or fed right, but not enough on it. And now Wah comes right by the Czech net. Wasting some more time. Just fantastic defense throughout this entire game.
What a birthday gift for Shane Wright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How much time is left? 12 at 30. 12 30. Give your balls a tug, bud. What's with the caps, though, Andrew? <laughs> Give your caps lock a tug. 12 19. Puck squirting all over the check end. Now Brant Clark right through the middle, shovels it off the backhand, right in on Zukanek. And there's spot check. Getting it back for the checks. He literally has Czechia right in his name. Bedard. I'm surprised they didn't call a tripping against Connor Bedard there. It looked like he kind of wrangled his stick along Spacek's skate, but. In the Canada end, they're still trying to get it out. Dean and Zellweger fighting for it now. Puck chipping all over the place. Zabavalov almost able to get some room, just skipped over his stick. Shale kind of gave up. Zabavalov got the puck back, and he was kind of in the air watching it. I don't know. That was a weird one, because Zabavalov got the puck right around the offensive blue line, but Shale wasn't looking at him, and he didn't see that he could have entered. Catch, great entry for a D-man. Gets it right in, but... Gives it away after that, and Canada puts it down the ice. 11 5 to go in the third. Canada up by a pair. Checks need some offense here, or else this could be it in the gold medal game. Up the ice. Checks aren't able to get a piece on the breakout attempt, and that'll be icing against them. 15 million? Dang. <laughs> Jack Hughes has a period to get a hattie. I mean, how do you doubt? Jack Hughes. Hey, Steve Eisman in the house. Love to see that. My boy. Shane Wright scored the second goal. Checks need some Canadian Michigans to win. Hey, Patrick, we'll see you in the next one, brother. Good to have you tonight. That right backhand was unexpected and a laser totally unnecessary. I mean, he scored, didn't he? Are you criticizing Shane Wright for, for scoring a pretty goal? <laughs> I hope you aren't. Oh, what a great chance. God, what a great pass by Wright. Othman goes for the one-timer off the boards. Another great play by Wright to get puck separation. Now to Del Mastro. You put it right behind. Othman trying to put it in front. Wright almost banged it home. I was about to say, if you're criticizing Wright for scoring a pretty goal, he literally can do nothing right for you guys. If he scores a pretty goal, you'll say it's too pretty. If he scores no goals at all, you'll say he sucks. What do you want him to do? I'm kidding. 10.05 left in the third. Still 2-0 Canada. Puck stuck in the corner. Back to the point, trying to get it wherever Sage check, but giving away. Shane Wright, great play. Alone comes in the shoot. Oh. Gunther wasn't there for the rebound. And now the checks come up the other side. A little bit of space for Ticket Check, and he shoots it off Milic's shoulder. Man, that's unfortunate because Gunther didn't get any separation really from the defender coming back. He was straight in the middle of the slot on that rebound where he really should have been on that left side. His right was obviously going to go for the shot there, but he had no idea. It didn't look like he was hunting for the rebound, really. But it looked like Wright was trying to there too. It was trying to get a rebound type shot. Nine twelve left now in the third. Thirty one to nineteen. The shots. I'll I'll uh, update those after the next whistle. Take a check. And his own hash marks gets it up. Checks enter the zone. Shimlar, right around. Trying to get it was your was your check man your check has just kind of fumbled the bag in some key moments tonight He's still been overall decent especially defensively. Oh coming in shot there by Dean and that one Zuka neck gets the pat that gets the shoulder on it just enough But it just doesn't feel like when when he's had offensive chances or when he's really needed to defend That he's come up big like he did in the Sweden game, which has been a big misfortune for the checks tonight. 
Uh, watching you from 2021 because our cable had cut off. Aubrey, well, welcome back. Good to have you two years later. 814 left. Gaucher to the point. Allen the shot. That one gets deflected off right back to the corner. Checks a lot of guys, but not enough on the puck. Van Tilly, what a play to strip the puck and get it down the ice. What a play by Adam Van Tilly, man. That's not going to be on the score sheet, but those are the type of plays that win you games. Adam Van Tilly, so good. Just strips the puck off, of, off, the, off the rusher immediately without even a sense. Gets a stick on that puck and it's offside, or not offside against the checks, but keeps their momentum out of it. What a great pass by Samovalov, and they score! The Czechs are back in it, and it's, I think it's Kulich in front of the net. A discombobulated defensive play, and Milic can't get the save on it. And the Czechs get their deficit to one. Was it really Kulich? Was it really Kulich? If so, I have predicted every single goal scorer correctly, and if it stays 2-1, I'll have my score prediction right at the start perfect holy crap oh wait that might be outside wait a second here yes it went off disposal really weirdly zellweger gives it right away at the point and just an absolutely misfortunate bounce in front of the net and coolidge is able to pot it home wow it went off the post initially but coolidge was able to get to that puck first beating zellweger and it's a 2-1 game. I, I feel like it... it Look like they might have been reviewing it for offside, but I'm not sure if they'll actually have the guts to do it. Looks like they won't. 2-1 Czechia. 7.25 to go. And the Czechs have life. Yuri Kulich, another humongous goal. Now from the point, shot there by Ticket Check, and that one goes off a D-man. There, another one, trying to get that puck loose. Spot check from the point. That one deflected right in front of the net in the slot. No shots allowed. Again, spot check. Another shot from the point. That one gets blocked as well. Shane Wright with the big one in front. Seven minutes now left in the third. 1,600 people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Get some Go Canada. Go get some Go Shekia. Go in the chat. Let us know who you're cheering for. But a Canadian icing at the wrong time. And the Czechs have the momentum. 2-1. What a cup. What a turn of events, man. What a turn of events. Big face off here in the defensive zone. Face off won by Canada, but will the possession come? Back at the point, it finds Juracek. He comes in. Goes through a defender. Del Mastro gets the puck back. Across, he'll find Brant Clark. Clark tries to get it out. Unsuccessful. He gets another opportunity here. He can't get it out. In front of the net. Great chance. And they score! Czechia has tied it all up! Cross in front! And it's 2-2 with six minutes to go! Just like that! The Czechs have stunned Canada! Holy mama! The Czechs have turned this game on its head! Just like that, the momentum has been completely turned! Canada wasn't able to clear and a couple of beautiful bounces! And it's all tied up. Off of Del Mastro's leg and into the net. Holy crap. This game just got crazy. This game just got crazy. And they're doing almost the exact same thing that they did versus Sweden. 2-2. Shekia and Canada. Gold medal game, 6.33 left. Next goal could win it. Kulich with the shot. That one goes out. Zellweger right to the glass, right behind the net now. Wa finds it. Canada, a 2-0 lead that was looking safe. And just like that, in the span of a single minute, the Czechs have put this game right to the start. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
what have we just seen from Czechia? The resiliency, the, the, the team. I mean, of course, I think both of those goals were really lucky bounces, but that's just the resiliency that the Czechians have, man. What a crazy turn of events. Canada looking to sh turn the tide here, but another turnover. Now coming up the ice, Zerturk Zert goes right around the boards and it'll find streaking Gaucher. Now Zach Dean into the offensive zone. Dean tries to get some space. That one left out though by Juracek. Back in the corner it'll go. Brabinek gets it out of the zone. 525 left. This game is nuts. 2-2 in the gold medal game. Let me know. Who wins this game now? Canada or Czechia? Get a one in the chat for Canada. Get a two in the chat for Czechia. I want to know. I want to know who wins this game. All tied up with five left. And the friggin' world juniors continue to never disappoint. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. The scenes that we've seen tonight. Canada with a 2-0 lead. Czechia able to come back. But a bad turnover in from the net. Gunther shoots it on. Zukanek, but just a timely chest save and he'll get the cover. But Kulich and Koss, the goal scorers, and the Czechs are tied. And we're going to commercial break. Holy crap. Holy crap. For the 2000 legends in here, thank you guys so much for joining us right now. If you, buy, if you guys have enjoyed the commentary, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, get some predictions in the chat. Which player scores next? Which player scores next? I want to know. I predicted a 2-1 Canada win. It was looking like it could have could have happened, but a couple of really good balances for the checks, and this game is all tied up just like that. Just like that. But I'll just say, if, if we got overtime then uh, I don't like uh, I don't like the Czech's chances against Connor Bernard if we're talking about OT. If we're talking about OT. Because we got less than five minutes to go, about 4.30, I'm pretty sure. Holy crap, man. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. My heart is racing, and I'm, I'm an American. I'm an American, man. This is crazy. You know what? I, I'm still going to say Canada most likely is winning here. The momentum... I mean, this is, again, exactly what the Czechs did against Sweden. Right to the very end, right when you think that they're going to pull... Th when, the, when the other team is going to pull through, they come up with a big goal in the game versus Sweden. It was, like, with 20 seconds left. You're a Czech with a bomb from the point, and that's all it needed. And they ended up winning that game in overtime. But the Czechs have done exactly what they've wanted to do and now have it all tied up with 440 left. Face-off win for Czechia, and they do get it out. Schale to Kulic, but a big turnover. Great play by Bedard. Back to the middle of the ice. A good little tick, uh, stick play there by the Czechs, and it'll go to the Canadians' end. 420 left. 420 left. 2100 in the chat if you guys are enjoying this. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Great to have you all tonight. Year-round hockey prospect talk. If you guys like hockey prospects, if you guys like hockey prospect rankings, 2023 draft rankings, mock drafts, scouting reports, prospect pool rankings, this channel is the place to be. We got you covered. We got you covered. Holy crap, the scenes right now. Brandon with a two. Happy New Year, Grab. Thank you so much for the two, Brandon. Love you. Oh, coming up right there is a great chance. But another save by Milic. That one was big. That one was big. On Zaturk. He's had a couple of really good chances in this game. Woo. Czechia, man. Czechia. This is nuts. This is friggin' nuts. One would say pretty nutty. I would say pretty nutty. Yeah, we got 2.2k in here. Thank you guys all for dropping by.
about to turn this lease game off i think you probably should chewbacca <laughs> 345 now in the third will we see overtime y'all yes or no will we see some late heroics in this third period from the point opportunity there another big block by the canadians another uh chance there for hamara 325 left good turnover there by austin chuck defensively and now he'll come up through the middle sends prospect gets it in a good move getting around getting around ticket check there and now the checks put it right back to the middle trying to get that back was chemlar and he'll put it into the canadian end hey thank you so much nikita for the three canadian appreciate it ton thank you for the dono can we get some nikita hype can we get some nikita hype holy mama holy mama i'm so nervous right now for both these teams <laughs> we got three minutes left in the third two two actually let me change the shots real quick while i have the time 33 32 to 22 32 to 22 there we are there we are oh baby czechia canada tied up gunther up the ice you'll find shane wright who scored the second goal in this game looking for another shot by offman gloved up by zukanek and he'll get his 31st save of the night not too bad Canada gonna pull through don't worry boys we'll see Spencer we'll see I mean Bedard scored the overtime winner versus Slovakia but also the Czechs won an overtime versus Sweden who also have a ton of great forwards to work with so we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see um Medi, thank you so much for subbing as well as 1RKEN thank you so much for subbing also Poser thank you so much for subbing appreciate it Go Rangers, go. We're getting close to both Fantilli and Bedard. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Nino says Kulich gets the second one. Okay, okay. I mean, Kulich is a beast. Kulich is a beast, so I would not be surprised. Man. This is too much. This is too much, man. I'm not even... I'm an American. I'm not even a Canadian. Left to sub, uncraftable. Thank you so much for subbing, man. Thank you so much for giving this channel a chance. All right, I want to see some go Canada go. I want to see some go Czechia go in the chat right now. Right now, give your team some good luck. Give your team some good luck because they need it right now. Tied game, 2-2. Two -two. Crazy. 2.49 now left in the third. Big, so, big defensive zone face off here for the Czechs. First line out, or second line out there for the Canadians. Gunther, Wright, and Othman. Who have come up big in this game with the two only goals of the game. But Canada needs more. They got the face-off win, but had to go back in their own zone. Hey, River, thank you so much for the seven. Canadian, appreciate you, big man. Appreciate you so much. Let's get some River hype in the chat down below. Thank you for the seven, my man. And you are now our last donator. As you should be, King. As you should be. That one offside. 2-11 now to go in the third. It's getting up to the wire, y'all. It's getting up to the wire. 2-2. Two -two. Who would have thought, man? Not me. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This is crazy. But the Czechs never give up. They never, never give up on any shift. Always play to the final whistle. Are always so resilient. And always play like such a concise team. And they've showed they can match up against Canada in this game. 2-11 to go in the gold medal game. Czechia looking for their first gold medal since 2001. And Canada looking to win back-to-back. -back. Next goal likely wins. Face off goes to the Czechs and they get possession. Take a check alongside. He'll get it back off his partner and go right up the ice. Good little play. He'll find Brabinek. Loses the puck a little bit. Will be forced to put it in. But now behind the net, Zurich. 
behind the Canadian net, still with the puck, trying to out physical, out, out, out to hit everybody else. Stanko trying to get that loose puck in front. Now is a trick of a, a shot opportunity. He whiffs on it though, and Bedard gets that loose puck up the ice. Now into the offensive zone. Bedard with ticket check. Ticket check uses the body on him, clears him of the puck. But Canada still trying to keep that play in. Great play along the boards though. Fantastic by Zababi. And the Canadians have to go on another rush attempt. 115 now left in the third. Holy crap. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. This is it. This is it. I cannot believe what we're seeing. I cannot believe what we're seeing right now. This is incredible. Incredible, man. Fifty seconds now left in regulation. Do we see a late goal here? Canada goes with an icing, and now with 45 left, the Czechs get an offensive zone possession. Potentially. That's huge. That's huge. We got 3,000 in the chat. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody gets a shout out if they do. And let us know who you guys think scores next. Which player will it be? Because as of right now, next goal wins. Next goal wins. 64.3K. Let's go. Let's go. Canada wins the opening faceoff. Right there, Ostrichuk trying to get it around the boards, but Salvavalov gets the puck first. Keeping with the physical pressure. Great little play by Shale. He's trying to feed Kulich in from the net. That one saved by Milic. Great little soul, a great little blocker save there when he needed to. Quick little shot there by Kulich, too. Now Shale coming in on a couple of guys. Gets around. Shale in front of the net. Great chance in front. Puck is loose, but they scoop it out. And it goes down the ice. What a chance. And what drama. Five seconds left. And we will go to overtime. 2-2 in the gold medal game. Czechia and Canada. But almost a late goal. But the Canadians on the, on the edge of defeat. But Milic, couple of huge saves and Brent Clark the clear. And that could be what saves this game. Absolutely sensational by Milic. And they get a timely save when they needed it. Oh my goodness. Are you guys ready for OT? Are you guys ready for OT? Oh my... This is insane, man. <laughs> this is... This is insane. This is insane what we're seeing tonight. What a friggin' game by Czechia, man. They almost won this game. They almost won this game right there. Right there. This is nuts. This is nuts. Let me know in the chat down below. One for Canada and two for Czechia. Who scores next in this game? Who scores next in this game? This is nuts. Nuts. We got 3,000 in the chat. Thank you guys so much for dropping by. OT will be coming up here in a few more minutes. But we're 14 likes away from 600. So if you guys are appreciating so far, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Holy crap, man. OT in the gold medal game. It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. So. I still think Canada's going to win this game. But the Czechs do have a lot of the momentum. The Czechs do have a lot of the momentum. So... Man, that's the thing. Three on three. I think I just prefer the Canadians playmakers compared to the Czechs. But the Czechs have that finishing. They have that they have that adventure in their and that spirit in their game. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna still say 3-2 Canada. And I'm gonna say that Dylan Gunther is your golden goal scorer. If Czechia is gonna win this though. I have a feeling that Sposal is going to be huge and he's going to get the overtime winner for the Czechs. So I'm going to say Gunther for the Canadians and Sposal for the Czechs. Let us know in the chat down below, though, who you guys think of for either team. 
And is it going to be Canada or Czechia winning tonight? Holy crap. Holy crap. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What we've seen tonight, man. 2-0 <laughs> with like, what was it? Like five to go. And the Czechs just with two immediate goals to stun the crowd. Insane. Brandon says Del Mastro for Canada. Could happen. Could happen. All right, overtime is about to start, y'all. Let me get uh, Brand as the last donator. Man, this is nuts. This is nuts. Wait, is it about to start? Um, Because they have the feedback on, but they might be uh, just talking about it. We'll have to see. Kurt with the one as well. Thank you for the dono, big man. <sighs> All right, they're just talking about it. So yeah, it looks like they got, I, they have, I think they have a 15 minute intermission. So we got 13 minutes to go into overtime, giving us a little bit of a breather here. So I'm pretty sure um, for the rest of the games, it's been these 10 minute overtimes, I believe. But I, I think in the, did they do it? Does it change for the metal games? It might. It might. Hey, Tracy with the 10. Number one fan? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Tracy, for the dono. A big one, too. All right, there you go. Tracy, thank you so much for the 10. Let's get some big hype for Tracy down below. Also, Jacob with the five. Where was that? Oh, there it is. Uh, probably the last question, true or false? Chicago is the only original six team to have one first overall pick. Um... I'm trying to think. Uh, that's a that's actually a really interesting question. Is it like a trick question? Like, is there one that doesn't have a first overall pick? Like, to, like, um, like uh, I think you know Boston has one. Leafs obviously have more than one. I'm gonna say true. I'm going to say true, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> hey, Craig, thank you so much, brother. Good to have you tonight. Also, Carolyn, what's going on? Storm, I'm stunned as well. I am stunned as well. What Czechia has done, you, you just need to give them respect, man. You need to give them respect. They fought right to the very end. Not applicable with the 20. Okay, I'm a Canadian. But if they lose to anyone in this tournament, I'm glad it's Czechia. Yeah, they worked for it. Either way, I'm here for it. Let's freaking go. Thank you so much for the dono. Appreciate it a ton. But yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. Like, what, what Czechia has been able to do tonight, and really this entire tournament, is just insane. I'm, I'm going to shorten the name to not app. I'm hope, hopefully, you're okay with that, uh, because it is a long name. But thank you so much for donating, my man. Thank you so much for donating the 20. Appreciate it a ton. To all the donators, love y'all so much. Love y'all so much. Got 3,000 people in here. 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go until overtime starts. But let us know your predictions. Who scores? Who will be the hero? Who will get the golden goal? And I'm pretty sure in these medal rounds, they don't have shootouts. So it's just continuous overtime. Or at least in the gold medal game, I know that's the case. So thankfully, we won't have a shootout determining this game, which thank the Lord above. My goodness. Uh, thank you so much, Valerie, for subscribing, as well as Faith. Welcome to the Grab Gang. Oh, we also got Alexi. Welcome, as well. Check is going to win and, do and complete the comeback, baby. That would be insane, Cooper. It would be insane. Good call, Bedard, earlier. It is true. I said I said that, Con that Connor Bedard was going to have it only one point. Either zero points or one point in this game. And the most he can have is one point since he's gotten zero so far. So I just want to say, I just want to say. Um, hey, Flyatory, long time no see. Vote Miro, Rupe, and honor the All-Star game. So true. So true. So true. Spitting. I'm up with the spitting. Robbie, what up from Halifax? Did the boys pull out? Lots of people are going to be work, going to work on over. <laughs> but Art always has a shot, but he's not doing much to give us hope. JJ's, what's going on? 
Canada better get the goal. Jeez. Let's go check it. Pretend it's the 98 Olympia. Faye, thank you so much again for subscribing. Also, Hunter, welcome to the ground, gang. If you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. Throughout the year, we make so much hockey prospect content, not even just around the world, juniors in the draft, but hockey prospect rankings, mock drafts for the 2023 draft, prospect pool rankings, individual scouting reports on different guys. So if that's up your alley, make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you're like a fan of a rebuilding team. This channel is a must, man. A must. Who do you think the best player for Canada is? Today, it's been Shane Wright, um, but Milich has also been incredible as well. Um, but I think Shane Wright overall has been the best for them. At least when you consider the defensive play. Oh, is it Toronto, maybe? Thank you so much, Jacob, for the five, as well as Dead Talks for the seven. Do you think Austin Chuck makes Ottawa's lineup next year or trade bait for a top D man? Um, I mean, there's a possibility it could be either one of those. I, I think I'd rather give him a another year in the... Well, actually, he wouldn't go to the AHL, would he? That's tough. I feel like he might go in the WHL for another year if I had to say something, like if I had to bet on something, but I'm... Maybe there's a chance if he's like a four-flying checker, but I also feel like I'd rather have him in the WHL than, than, than that, personally. But maybe not, since he projects us still a bottom six player, but we'll see. But thank you so much, Dad Socks. Let me get you as the last donator. Let's get some hype for all the donators tonight. Absolutely insane. And then... It's Vixreal coming in with a seven. It's been here since you've had less than 2K subs. Happy to see you living your dream, man. Thank you so much. That's, that's freaking insane. Less than 2K. Less than 2K. X. Rexel. There you go. OG, man. OG right there. It's 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 actually a, like just a huge blessing. And I, I try to take it. At, I, I don't try to play it down. I, I just try to take it. Uh, not take it for granted as much as I can. It's insane that I get to do this for a living, and it's because of you guys that I get to do this for a living. So, so appreciated of, of that. Uh, Mackle, we got a few minutes to go until OT. A few minutes to go until OT. Thank you once again, though. It's Vix Real for, for seven. Steve, on the edge of my seat. Go, Canada, go. Slam one more in. Drive it like you own it. Yeah, Steve, I mean, that's the goal. We'll see if they can actually get it done, though. Hey, fly it to a fly to uh, fly to Tory again with a five. Milich has to get drafted this year, especially after this tourney. Also, I'm in that smart stats Twitter group chat. True, true. I think he definitely gets drafted. Um, I think the earliest he goes is probably like a fourth round pick, but I could see it in mid round. A team definitely taking a swing on him for sure, for sure. Blame Canada's loss on Shane Wright. He's not the Jason. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> What are you talking about? The only two goals in this game have come from his line, and he scored one of the most beautiful goals of this entire tournament for the second one. And he's played the best defense, bar none, of any player on the on the whole team. Like, you have three other lines that haven't done anything offensively, and you're going to blame Shane Wright? Like, you're... And people just hate Shane Wright for no reason, dude. I swear. He scores one of the best goals you can score, has some of the best defense you can play, and people say, still say that if that this game would be his fault. Come on. Come on. Be better than that. Like, I love Stankoven. Where has he been tonight? Where has he been tonight? Nowhere. Um, I, I still say Canada wins this game, but I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not betting on any team right now. I'm not betting on Canada just because of the check, the check effect, man. The check effect. Who would you like to win? I'm sure for check alias, but I'm fine either way. Yeah, five minutes to go until the overtime starts, y'all. And we'll get continuous overtime. So it won't be, um, it won't, won't, there won't be a shootout, which is a blessing, an absolute blessing. Checkmate, absolutely. Nikita, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for donating. That goes a long way. Long way. <sighs> Man. Let me know again who you guys see scoring next. Which player will it be? I'm still going to pick Gunther as my, as my golden goal. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm just glad we have no shootouts, man. I'm just glad we have no shootouts. And the fact that the golden game is going to be decided by a golden goal. That's what we all want to see, man. 
That's what we all want to see. No, we got four minutes to go until OT starts. Pharaoh says he'll donate 100 if Keanu wins. Okay. I see you. I see you. I hear the game in Halifax. Friggin' electric in the building. Nice, Eli. Yeah, the shootouts. I'm so glad they got rid of it and decided to go to do overtime. Yeah, it's the, it's the way to go, man. It's the way to go. Especially in a game like this. Especially in a game like this. Like you like in a game like this, a goal a gold medal game being decided in a shootout, that's just that's just sad. So I'm glad I'm glad that's not gonna happen tonight. Tristan Philo. Fion. Fio? Potentially. <laughs> I tried my best, Tristan. I tried my best. I win eight thousand if Canada wins. This is the is a late game in my parlay, but I will do it. Okay, hate. I see you. I see you. Also, I uh, hate to say it, but also, um, I will say this: if Canada loses this game, if I see people blaming Wright more than Connor Bernard, <laughs> but God, when Wright has a goal, is I was on the ice for the first one. Um, like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Bedard hasn't been all too great so far, but we'll see if that changes in the overtime. We'll see if that changes in the overtime. Oh, I have no idea. Pfft, purple. <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> I haven't banned anybody. It's, it's the moderators. Bedard do does Michigan. Bedard goes Bedard. I mean, I would not be surprised if Bedard does something, though. Not be surprised if he does something. Hey, Team L Kid, thank you so much for the kind words, man. Summerk as well. What's going on? I think we got I think we got two minutes to go until overtime starts. I believe. I believe. Bout, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Good to have you tonight. Actually, with OT about to start, let us know where you guys are watching from, which country, which city, which state, which province. Let us know down below. Where are you guys watching? I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I'm coming to you from Dallas, Texas, and it's great to have you guys coming in here tonight. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do so. Join us for so much more streams, so many more streams, so many more prospect content just like this, or so much more prospect content like this. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, we're trying to get to 65K, and every single bit helps. Every single bit helps. We'd love to have you here. Getting some Michigan, some Frisco, some Wisconsin, some Sarnia, New York, Czechia. Alberta, Nova Scotia, Quebec, Moncton, Toronto, Nova Scotia, Canada, uh, good old Grand Prairie, Alberta, Kitchener, Brampton, Ontario, nice, PEI, love to see that, love to see that. Oh, Mitch Marner made the All-Star team, that's, that's not surprising to me, not surprising to me. Oh boy, but y'all, OT is about to start, OT is about to start. Ooh, baby. I just realized I gotta be ready to call a golden goal. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. A couple of check goals, man, right at the end of the third. And it's a new game, just like that. Just like that. But Czechia and Canada. 2-2. Two -two. Right and Gunther, or Gunther and right from Canada's side. And Kulich and Koss from the Czechs are your goal scorers so far. In the gold medal game, it all comes down to one single shot. One single play and one single goal. Will the Czech get their first gold medal since 2001? Or will Canada win back-to-back -back gold medals? Let's find out together, ladies and gentlemen. The time is here. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. This is the place to be. Let's friggin' do this thing. You guys want to watch along with us? NHL Network in the US and TSN in Canada. Gold medal game is here. Stankov and Bedard and Zellweger. With Zyrtec, uh, Sabavalib, and Juracek. Bedard wins the faceoff. Three on three overtime starts now. And again, it'll be continuous. Next goal wins and no shootouts. 2-2. Two -two. Canada and the Czech Republic. Bedard comes to the left side, goes the way through, through center, shoots it, and Zukanek able to get the chest on it. Big save there already to start out overtime. That's huge. That's huge. 
Bedard already, though, showed up with a little bit of an interesting chance, but also a shot that was out of the slot. You're a check keeping him away from that high danger area. And Z Zukanak able to see it because of it. Staying coming again for the face off with Zapovalov on the other side. Possession so important in this three on three. Who wins it here? Face off wins Canada. And right there, Zellweger to get it along the blue line. Stankova decides to push it out and re enter the offensive zone. Bedard gets the puck back. He'll find some room, tries to deke around. He'll spin around and circle back to the blue line. Coming in again, he'll look for the pass. Now goes behind and back to the corner. Recycles the opportunity. Stankova gets the puck. He'll come right in. Shooting in that one at a sharp angle. Zukanek able to get a piece of it. And that one goes down the ice for Team Canada. Hey, Faro the 279. Canada for the win. Shout out, please. Of course, Faro. Shout out to you, my man. Shout out to you. Hit that subscribe if you guys are new. And turnover. Czechia gets it away. Now Shale enters the offensive zone. Shale no, doesn't go for the wraparound opportunity, but keeps it going. Guarded by Wright. Great defensive play by Wright. Forces him back to the middle. And the Czechs will have to reset. Kulich out, right, lost his stick, gets a new one. Shale into the offensive zone. Kulich right there for it. Bounces it off the boards to himself. Gunther playing him out. Back to the point, but the checks will reset here, and Shale will come out to his own zone. A minute and 30 into it. And only a couple of scoring chances so far. Both teams patient with their possession. Rabinek trying to get it. Good steal by Zellweger. Zellweger now into the offensive zone. All alone. Trying to get it in front. Trying to pass it. But just lost it off the stick. Now back to the point. It'll find Gunther. Zellweger, Gunther, and they'll go back to the middle. Not liking what they're seeing in overtime. Czechia still stingy. But now coming up. Zellweger into the offensive zone. Still tries to get the pass across, but gives it away. Right there a chance, but the Czechs will decide to reset in their own zone again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let us know again in the chat which player scores the golden goal. I'm thinking for the Canadians, Gunther, for the Czechs, Kulich. Coming in, you're a Czech. Tries to go around Clark. Good defensive play. Stankoven tries to get it out, but unsuccessful. Clark, though, with a little bit of room and space in his own corner, gets it up the ice, or at least tries to, but that wasn't able to connect. And it'll go back along. Brant Clark in his own end. 17-12 left to go. Bedard, Stankoven. And now coming out for it. On the other side. Bedard enters the zone. Gets some space along the hash marks. Good defensive play by Zapovalov. And getting that back is spot check. Couldn't get it to Zapovalov in the pass. But a good defensive play. And the checks will get possession once more. A little bit of a quiet overtime so far. But one shot is all that matters. Spot check enters the zone. Spins around. Looks for a lane. He'll find Sapovalov on the blue line. He'll spin around as well. Looking for a passing play. He'll end up just going back to the middle again. Both of these teams heavily reserved in the overtime so far. Fantilli going right up on Zaturk. Couple of good stick plays and he'll get possession back for Canada in overtime. Fantilli got the game-winning goal against the U.S. Now he has a one-on-one. -on -one. Fantilli tries to deke through, but a great play by Ticacek to get the puck. Now coming up, Yuri Kulich looking for the goal. He'll shoot it, and Milic the save. Right across to Gunther, and now the Canadians come up the other side. Gunther looking in. Can't get that shot off. Good defensive play as well by Ticacek. Now Shale looking to create some offense here for the Czechs. But that pass will go past the stick of, of, of the checks. And now down the ice. Great little passing play. Brabinek trying to get the pass, trying to get the spin move, but can't get past the defense of Zellweger. Brabinek doesn't like what he what he sees again. And now a 15-34 to go. The checks cycle back out. But now they enter. Brabinek again decides to go back to the middle. It's, what is going on right now? A little bit too reserved by these teams. But Czechia obviously not wanting to make a mistake. Oh boy. Coming in, cost an opportunity. Big stick there by Brent Clark. Got a piece of it just enough. 
And now back along, a bad, bad, bad bounce in from the net. Couldn't get it done. Check it with possession though. Coming in, Juracek gets the puck stolen off by Bedard. Bedard by himself with it. Has the opportunity, can't put it home. What a couple of good plays though. Shot there, good opportunity. Another good save by, by Zukanek though. This is nuts, guys. This is nuts. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. 2-2. 2, -2. 32 to go in the OT. Now the checks. Out of possession once more. Sapuvalev enters the zone. He'll pass it back to himself. Played well defensively, though, by Ethan Del Mastro, and Canada will get the possession back. Behind his own net. Patiently with it. Now some new faces for Canada. Coming in. Fantilli right in front but couldn't, couldn't jam the puck home. What a chance. 14 minutes left. And now in the check end. Take a check right there. New line out there for the Canadians. Wah and Gunther. Now Coolidge down the ice. Bad play. Brent Clark up the ice. Great chance. Gunther of Wah. Wah right there. In front Gunther. The golden goal. Dylan Gunther and back-to-back -back gold medals for Team Canada. Gunther scored the first and he'll score the last. What a passing play by Wah. And the Yotes prospect gets it done. A fantastic play by Brant Clark to get the possession right at the start, feeding up Gunther, and that lackadaisical neutral zone play by the Czechs allows a two-on-one rush, and the Canadians will go home with another gold. Man, what a play by Gunther. I told y'all Gunther was going to be the overtime hero, and he got it done. What a tournament for him. What a turn. What was that? What is that now? Seven goals or something in the tournament? Absolutely insane. An incredible comeback by the Czechs. And they will get a much deserved silver medal. What a tournament by Czechia. Get some GGs in the chat. What a finish in overtime. Gunther is your hero. But for Czechia, so much to be proud of. Put Canada right to the very brink in overtime. Got the silver medal. Their first medal since 2001. And it comes in an OT loss in the gold medal game. Yeah, that was a miss. That was an uncharacteristic turnover by Kulich that fed the possession to Brant Clark. But what a feed off the boards right to Gunther. And Wah and Gunther are able to connect. What a win for Team Canada. What a win. Joshua Wah continues his prolific tournament. And just another big moment for him. GG's, man. That was incredible. That was incredible. What a game. What a game. What a game. What a tournament. Can we get some W's in the chat for just this tournament? What an incredible, incredible tournament from start to finish. So many upsets and the checks were so close to pulling off the upset. But Gunther and the Canadians got it done in the end. Man. One good. Thank you so much for the two. Thanks for the coverage. Nice work. Of course, my man. Of course. Glad I can entertain you guys and Gunther. I told you guys Gunther was going to be the goal scorer. In almost every single goal score, I got it correct. I predicted that Gunther would score the first and Shane would score the second. I saw Coolidge scoring that first. I didn't expect the, co the cost goal, but I expected going into overtime that Gunther would be the OT hero. And he is. What a tournament, man. What a win by Canada, and absolutely deserved. They were the best uh, best team going into the tournament, and they were the best team throughout, and deserved the win. But what a win by the what a, what a what a game by the Czechs.
what an effort by the Czechs. And they get their best result since 2001, man. A lot to be proud of. A lot to be proud of still. Man, some people have been saying it already, but just imagine the connection of Gunther and Cooley, man. Just imagine the connection of Gunther and Cooley. <laughs> Unbelievable. Someone get grab a sidekick certificate? I should get one. I should get one, right? <laughs> Hey, hey, everybody that doubted Shane Wright as the captain, how do you feel? How do you feel right now, by the way? <laughs> how do you feel right now? Feel a little bit silly, eh? You should. You should feel really silly. Really silly. Really silly. <laughs> crazy, though, man. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Hi, Nick. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. To all the checks in the chat, what a friggin' effort, man. I, I didn't even expect the checks to come in the top four of this tournament. But they come in second place with the silver medal. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. <laughs> what a game. And of course, guys, if you guys enjoyed the commentary, if you guys enjoyed the excitement, hit that subscribe button. Join us for the rest. Join us for all the hockey and prospect content that you could possibly want daily on this channel just for you guys. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And thank you so much to all the donors tonight. You guys have been absolutely insane. We got eight likes to go until 750, so get it done. Shane Wright as well, going right on the shoulders of Bedard as he gets the interview. Amazing, man. Amazing. I hope all the Shane Wright haters are 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 just fuming right now. Are just absolutely fuming. He's such a bad captain. Oh no, he's such a bad captain. Bro, he's been captain on like two different Canadian teams. Captain on the Frontenax. Like, what else do you want from him, man? He got the result. His team got the result. What is there left to say? What is there left to say? Let me know in the chat down below, though. Who's gonna? Are they gonna put out like tournament MVPs or something? Um, because obviously Milic would have to be a part of that. Uh, game, game, player of the game is Gunther, just for the two goals, really. Um. Oh yeah, somebody said there was gonna be a hundred dono. Somebody said there was gonna be a hundred. I think it was uh. Oh, I forget his name. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, multiple crow pie. It, it's it's actually it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Remember how many people on Twitter were mad when when uh, when it was announced that Wright got the captaincy? Imagine how remember how many people were actually mad? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a game. What a friggin' game. <laughs> what a freaking game. <laughs> I'm still so impressed though by the checks, man. I'm still so impressed by the checks. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I did change the score. What do you what do you think is going on up here? It's 3 2. <laughs> uh Gunther scored the overtime winner, Onyx. Gunther scored the overtime winner. Oh man. Thank you guys so much for all the support during the World Juniors. It's been absolutely amazing. You guys have been unbelievable, man. It, it, like, it's just unbelievable. Player of the game, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, who could you give it to, really? I mean, they were gonna, they were probably gonna give it to Gunther if, even if he hadn't had the goal earlier, but he had the goal earlier, so it's gonna happen. 
It's gonna happen. Do you think Bedara could be better than Gretzky? I don't think so, but... No, is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Tracy, of course. Thank you guys so thank you so much for having uh for giving me a chance and being here and uh letting me commentate over everything. It's been amazing. Man. Imagine saying that Shade Ride is a bad captain, bro. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Brab uh, Brabenek MVP for Czechia? I mean, he's pretty good, I guess. I want to give it to Kulich, even though that third goal was uh, was not very... <laughs> that, that, that third goal was kind of on him defensively, which is rare. Like, uh, like Kulich is not, does not let those usually happen. Heineck with the dodo. Thanks again. See you next time. Thank you so much, Heineck. Love you, bud. Let's get some hype in the chat for him. Love you so much, man. Let me get you as the last one here now. Where do you think Bedar will go when he's drafted? I'm still thinking Chicago's gonna somehow freaking it's gonna be rigged and Chicago's gonna win it. <laughs> Honestly. Oh yeah, checks looked amazing, man. I, I I'm so sad for Zukanek though, because he was phenomenal. Phenomenal, man. But a much deserved silver silver medal, man. What a friggin' what a friggin' world juniors by them. What a friggin' world juniors by them. Just amazing. Just amazing. Did you know that Buffalo might come back to the NA? Really? Uh, I don't know. I do not know about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amazing. Absolutely insane. I mean, so many guys like Kulich and Yerachek and Svozil and Brabanek and, and, and Sevavaliv, they, they all played to their best. They all played to their best, and some players even more than their best somehow. Just incredible, man. Just incredible. Oh, Emily in the chat. My fave. <laughs> Seeing the emotions on the Czech team is rough. They played really well, but always a big difference. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it absolutely, it absolutely sucks to lose, man. But you can't, you can't knock on their effort. You can't knock on their effort. Just incredible. Just incredible. You guys are awesome, though. Thank you so much for coming in. Also, let me link the uh, newest video a couple days ago that you guys can check out on the, on JT Miller and what he what the comments of him, some of the comments that he made that were just insane. Broke it all down as well as some of the Canucks struggles this year. But subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys like the hockey content, all of the talk around prospects year round. So if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, make sure you guys stick around here. And especially again, if you're uh, if you're uh, you're cheering for a team that's even close to being in, in a bad spot. Potentially, maybe even being in the draft lottery. It is a must to be subscribed to this channel. So make sure that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Absolutely love you. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for all the support in the world, juniors. You guys are absolutely nuts. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, y'all.